YouTubes. Okay. All right. Give this a second here. For everything to come online. All right. Hello, folks. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Sure. All right. Good old Shenmue 3. Oh, boy. Service. Certainly. All right. So, um, the, the stream last night was, ended up being about 10 hours long. Um, <laughs> I, I've learned today why I don't do super long streams like that anymore, because it took 19 hours for the VOD to process for last night. So, <laughs> and this is, this is with a, a pretty serious, like, standalone encoder machine. Um, so... <laughs> I either need to turn down the quality or or just not do super high quality VODs, but I don't think I'm going to do either of those things. So, um, it works really nicely with, with like four and five hour streams though, and <laughs> it's better for me if I don't do these super long VODs anyways, so. Um, but I can, like if I split them up, I can do like a 10 hour VOD if I um, do like half of it one game, half of it another game, then things will process just fine. But if I spend 10 hours on one game and it's just one big-ass VOD, that's when things get ridiculous with the VOD processing. Uh, so that, I learned that. that. That was the lesson that I learned yesterday. <laughs> and I'll, a lesson I'll share with y'all. So if you're you're doing a similar similar VOD processing as I am, split up your VODs. It will, it will greatly uh, speed up things. <clears throat> All right. Yep, hashtag quality. I try. Welcome, folks. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. So, it, just in case you missed all 10 hours of, uh, of Shenmue 3 last night, I got something for you. Something that I like to call previously on Shenmue. Previously. Sure. Oh, is she still chopping? <laughs> Good morning, Leo. Good morning. I love that. Ah, test. Dude, it break. Oh, shit. Good morning, Leo. Good morning. <laughs> is anyone there? Uh. This is just passed out under the tree. <laughs> what a sly pose. Not really my type, though. Excuse me. Gorgeous. What? I, I hit the B button. Got it. 50-year-old Lao Zhou. Why oh. is it so expensive? I knew it. Oh my god, this is great. You think I'm afraid of a little girl like you? Huh? What? What? She? Uh, wait, why is it so small? What? <laughs> That's like a third of the size that it was in the second game. All right, well, he we found man bun guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Goro. All right. <laughs> Shenmue 3, huh? Copy protected content? No, it isn't. How dare you, capture card? 
Absolutely not. What what is this shit? Hold on. This is absolutely not copy protected. There we go. What what Do I have Chrome open or something? Hold up. Come on. <laughs> what the fuck? Come on, capture card. All right, hold up. Let me uh let me toggle this. I might have to reboot my game computer. Um Sometimes my card does this. Shit. Okay, I, I think it's because I had YouTube TV open and Chrome was... Uh... Oh, what a pain in the ass. Okay, I gotta reboot my computer. So we'll... Uh... The, the stream will stay up, though. Because luckily I have... I have multiple... Multiple things going here. So, okay. It's gonna be a couple minutes while I reboot... My computer. Luckily, this has happened to me before. And I know how to fix this. It just rarely happens. Because uh, I was watching the, the Clipper game before this on YouTube TV, and apparently it sets a copy protection flag on, on HDMI even after you close it. <laughs> like, sure. All right. Restart. Okay, PC's restarting. Yep, it, it's definitely a Chrome feature. All right, how y'all doing? How y'all doing today? Oh, man. It is quite cold in here today. It dropped like 10 degrees overnight, so... <laughs> We're getting to the, the time of year when... It gets very cold in my apartment. Ugh. All right, PC is still rebooting. All right, so let's see to to bring y'all up to speed here. So we we finished all the Bailu Village section of Shenmue Three, uh, and our search has led us to a new town. We're essentially looking for Shenfa's father still, and some other guy. Uh, they're both stonemasons, and the uh, um, they've been kidnapped by thugs, and the search has led us to this uh, larger town uh, far up the river from Bailu Village. Um, it is, it's like Miao Uwu, I think, is the, the name of the town. Uh, Alright, I got my other monitor here. How annoying that I have to do this. Uh, close this. And let's see, uh, Shenfa and Ryo are both in this new city. Um, and they are asking around town to see if anybody has seen Shenfa's father and the other dude. Um, and that's, that's pretty much all we've done so far. All right, but. Computer's still booting up here. There's a lot of stuff it's got to load in the background. All right. <clears throat> a radiator heater. I wish I had something like that. Like, uh, because I live so close to the beach, um, uh, most people up here don't have air conditioning, but they do have weak heaters because the, the, the temperatures are usually pretty mild up here. Um, but when it does get cold, it gets really cold. Like, almost, almost like snowing, freezing, um, which for California is pretty cold. Uh, and then there's like four days out of the year where it gets hot enough that air conditioning will be real nice. But, uh, but there's no AC here because we don't need it, apparently. All right, let's see if it, uh, if this works this time. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see if this works. And Okay, now we good. Yeah, so it was it was Chrome. Chrome being Chrome. 
<laughs> it's so stupid. All right. You know what? Just just so that we have continuity for the VOD here, I'm going to show the previously again. I'm going to show that previously again. Just for continuity, it'll make editing this a lot easier. So in case you missed it at the top of the stream, let's uh, let's essentially start over. Hey, how, how's everyone doing? The stream just went live. There was definitely nothing just before this. Nothing went wrong. Here's the thing that I do. It's called Previously on Shenmue. Previously. Sure. Oh, is she still chopping? Good morning, Leon. <laughs> Good morning. I love that. Ah, best. Dude, it break. Oh, shit. Good morning, Leo. Good morning. <laughs> Is anyone there? Uh. She just passed out under the tree. <laughs> what a sly pose. Not really my type, though. Excuse me. Gorgeous. What? I, I hit the B button. Got it. 50-year-old Lao Zhou. Why is it so expensive? I knew it. Oh my god, this is great. You think I'm afraid of a little girl like you? Huh? What? What? She... Uh, wait, why is it so small? What? <laughs> That's like a third of the size that it was in the second game. All right, well, he found man bun guy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Goro. Oh, was that you, bro? Okay. Now we good. Let's do it. <sighs> All right. Start the timer. I'm assuming this isn't going to show a copy protection screen again. Okay, it's going to show this NVIDIA and Cell thing, which I, I don't even have GeForce Experience installed. So I don't know why it shows that, but sure. All right, let's, uh, let's do it. Shenmue 3. And I, I'm assuming we're in the second half of the game now. Now that we've... Uh, gotten to this. So this is still this is still version 1.02 according to thing down here. And my telestrator is not working. Hold up. There we go. So there there wasn't any sort of patch or anything overnight. Okay. So we're in Niao Wu. We got 213 monies, 400 tokens. And we're just about to sleep for the night. Uh, also, our current shirt count is at an even 20 right now. So there we go. Also, there's cats. All right. Yep, only 20. There there could have been more. Because there's there's an NPC called Mr. Sure. X-U, which is pronounced sure, apparently. Uh, but I didn't count those, because it's not S-U-R-E. Okay, so thugs are threatening shops in the Vendor Avenue Ask Around at Promenade Shops. So the Promenade is... Uh, all right, first we gotta get our free apples. Yes, I'll take it. So somebody just sneaks in overnight and and puts these apples in your room while you're sleeping. That's uh. All right. So we got a robot hand all these free apples, so that we don't have to keep eating corn and cauliflower all the time. All right. 
assuming there's no other free food around here. Okay. They have a spotlight just for this plant. Sure. <laughs> I'm still in Shenmue 2 mode where, where X is the open door button. Okay. Can we go out here? What's out here? Oh, just another balcony. Wait, does this go around to where the rooms are? This goes around to where the rooms are. This is... Like, this is our room. This is where we sleep. And just anybody can come out here and... <laughs> I... <laughs> this is Shenfa's room. Uh... This, um... I don't know about this. Like... <laughs> huh. Sure. I don't know about that. Okay. Yeah, you can close... The, well, the, the people up there did close the curtains, and you could see through them. <laughs> Unless there's another set of curtains. Hey, you! Yes? You need to pay for your room tonight. Don't tell me you don't have any cash. No, I do. Dang it. Ah, uh, thank you. So you can't do what you did in uh, in Shenmue 2 and just tell the the innkeeper that you don't have any money. Hi, Leo. Hey, Shenhua. Good morning. Morning. Are you well? Yeah, I'm totally fine. I should be asking you that. How's the city treating you? I'm getting used to all of the people. It's okay. Yeah? Good. I'll head out then. Okay. Be careful. Okay. I don't know what she does all day, but... The game doesn't tell us, apparently. Alright, so I'm assuming at some point the game is gonna probably make us do forklifting. So I'm not going to worry about going out of my way to get a forklifting job. Okay, so this likely isn't the promenade. This is probably still just the docks area. Well, I could just ask this guy. Uh, hi. Oh. Hey, man. What do you have? Information. Um, well... I got some real good oysters in. No, thanks. Don't you like oysters? Or did you stuff yourself at the food stalls over there? No, I just... Yeah, I mourned a corn. Hey man, I can't force you to do anything. Get what you want from wherever you want it. Uh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's, let's start a new... This guy's trying to guilt us into... into oysters. Sure. Alright, so this is... Actually, no, the promenade was, like, way in there. It's... So, it... I find this a little weird, too. In, in Shenmue 2, whenever it rains in, in Hong Kong or Kowloon, people would just get out an umbrella. But in this game, they just... Nope. No umbrellas to be found. Which is... Just another thing that they step back from. Going from two to this. You think umbrella technology would not be too difficult to implement, considering there's like four designs of umbrellas in the first game or in, in two. All right. Let's see. Piece. Okay. Pawn shop. So we're probably gonna run into another. Uh, money wall but I'm not gonna worry about it until we actually run into it can you help me hello and welcome all of my vegetables were picked this morning they're fresh and delicious actually I just have a question what is it I'd like to ask you about some thugs 
Oh, you mean the red snakes. The red snakes? Red snakes. They've been causing problems in the promenade. They haven't made it here, but I've heard they've really made life hard for a number of shops. So anyway, where can I find these red snakes? Hmm. I heard they were recently causing problems up above. It could be nothing but a rumor, though. Okay. Thanks. Above. Okay. Oh man. Oh, wait, wait, this is the uh, this is the guy from the hotel. Pardon me. And just who are you? I need your help. Oh shush! You're just like the other riffraff around these cheap stalls. Huh? Step too close and they hound you to buy something, blabbing non-stop about great deals. Ugh, who needs it? I'll, uh, keep that in mind. That's enough. Now get going. I'm busy escorting Shui Hua. I see. <laughs> Sorry to bother you. This guy, this guy looks like he would be in, um... One of the recent, like, Dragon Quest games. <laughs> He's got, like, the, the same kind of Toriyama-style face. Alright, so they said up above is where the, the trouble would be. So I'm guessing that's probably over here. Oh, hey, it's her again. Is she a red snake? Excuse me. Oh, it's you. What is it? Can I ask you a question? I wonder if I can help. I'm looking for some thugs. Thugs? They're threatening the shops around here. Have you seen them? Thugs. What about that guy over there? Huh? Huh? Oh, thank you. Take out your money. Do it now! Stop fumbling and just do it! Show me the money! <laughs> please, please spare me just this once! What did you say to me? Stop it. Who the hell are you? I said stop it. Oh, you must really want a whooping. Alright, this guy's going down in three bows. You're not getting away with this! Thank you. You saved me. Who was that? One of the thugs terrorizing this area. He mentioned something about being a part of the Red Snakes. Red Snakes? They pick fights and then try to extort money from us shop owners. They threaten to thrash our shops if we don't comply. So all of us here really don't have a choice. That's outrageous. But you provided a new dawn of light. Where can I find them? They are usually loitering around the bustling diner. And where's this diner? Go straight up that way. It's on Blossom Road. Oh man. An NPC finally gives us specific directions about something. Finally. Ten hours in. Hey, ball. <clears throat> All right. Blossom Road. We're looking for a bustling diner. Smart and lucky. So here's another... There's another arcade up here, I guess? This must be some sort of casino. All right. 
upgrade them some. Antiques. Okay. Uh, smart ball center. What? What is this? What is this? Huh. All right. Yo, look at the change machine. Oh, man. That, that takes me back. All right. Uh, lucky roll slot machine. Okay, it's just... All right, let's let's see this. So what is this? Bingo? Get more bingos. All right. So we just got to be Ralph Lawler here. I'll give it a try. All right, let's do it. This music is, uh, is quite something. Oh, that ball is stuck, apparently. Uh, um... Uh <laughs> What? I've got to focus. Just one more. What? <laughs> it's just Uh I'll pass. I'll pass. All right, well that was Okay. Yeah, I I don't think I want to play that again if I have to listen to that every time. All right. So we got the Bong Game Center. Sure. Their prizes are for tobacco use only. And it's the same stuff that was in the other one. Oh, this is different. Okay, so this was a golf one in the other one. Uh, today's challenge. So it's still got the Chobachan fighter. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I like some of the cute little details they put in this. All right. I'll give it a try. To celebrate my Clippers beating the Celtics. Got to play this. Who throws a basketball like this? Yo. Come on. <laughs> this ain't how you do it. Oh. Whoop. I'm shooting like Lonzo Ball over here. Alright, there we go. So we get we got a statue. Okay. Not too bad. Just one more. I'll pass. I'll pass. All right. So we got ourselves a maid cafe. Sure. And this guy's shirt is, uh, I can hear it all the way from over here. He must be one of the thugs. Can I ask you something? What? Where is Blossom Road? It's just up there. Okay, great. Thanks. Okay. Oh, man.
I love Chobu. Chobu fashion. Hold on, I gotta turn off the... Sure. Alright. Some chocolate, strawberry. Sure. Potato chips. Gummy candy. This is all stuff they had in uh, Bailu, I think. Wait, does the music not loop? Oh, it awkwardly loops. Okay. <laughs> sure. Hey, there's uh, the monk from the village. All right. Job Walker. Okay. Whoop. All right. Beer. I found it. Ah, Chobachan. Got him. All right. Wait, so I can buy some? Oh, that's talking to her. All right, let's talk to the clerk. Do you have a minute? Hello, and welcome to the tomato convenience store. Is this your first visit? No. No. I've been to your stores in Yokosuka and Hong Kong. Uh, say what? So you're from the homeland? I've always wanted to work at a Japanese-style convenience store. Gotcha. I think this convenience store thing is gonna catch on. I'm still not used to dealing with people. Let me know if I'm acting strange. Uh, sure. Yeah, because Ryo is an expert on people acting strange. He would certainly be able to tell. All right. Uh, burger shop. Yep, this is some fine dining here. I just got the burgers all laid out. <laughs> uh, just, just come in and take one again. <laughs> This is, uh, what, what shop does this? Like, what? At least have the decency to microwave it first before you serve it. You don't even have a microwave here. This is not authentic cuisine. Not a real American retro diner. <laughs> no thanks. We're going to be sitting on the toilet for the rest of the game if we eat there. Alright, so we're looking for the, the something diner. The, the rowdy diner, I think. That's the clinic, okay. Luckily they have the clinic right next to the American Retro Burger place. That's good thinking there. Well done, city planners. Go to bustling diner. Okay. Oh, there's Shenfa. She's over here in her standard standing pose. But clearly she's waiting for some story thing. All right, I should probably eat a bunch of cauliflower. This is probably gonna be a fight here. What's this? Guess I'll take it. Sure. And is there is there free snake power? This is these are snake power bottles. Hey Shenfa. Uh Okay. <laughs> All right, Blossom Roads up there and up there. Okay. Interesting. So there's like different districts to the city. Blossom Road. Is this it? 
Yeah. But which way on Blossom Road? Can't, can't talk to this guy? Okay. Excuse me. Hello there. Is everything okay? Sure, Stanley. Actually, I'm here for something else. Are there any restaurants around here? Oh, hungry, huh? Never bet on an empty stomach, I say. There's a restaurant over there called the Bustling Diner. I highly recommend their famous roast chicken. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure. Okay. All right, it's probably this. Uh. Whoops! Bro, that's him! That's the jerk who got in my way! <laughs> Looks like I have you to thank for hassling one of my men. <laughs> Let me repay you tenfold. I've got business with you, too. Like I care. Come on. Eat this. Eat this. like more QTs. Should have gotten hit by that. That might have been the watermelon. I lost sight of him. All right. Excuse me. Hmm? Oh, it's you. Ah, another backer. Sorry. I saw you at Hotel Niau. Do you remember? Ah, yes. It must be nice to travel around with such a cute girlfriend. We're not... Sure. Uh, 
Excuse me. Hey, man, want a plum juicy sausage? Fresh off the grill. Eat them up before they get cold. Have you seen any of the red snakes around? Oh, you mean the guys from before? They were headed that way. Okay, right. thanks. I've got to eat something. I'm assuming there's no cauliflower stand. We buy some novelty, novelty art. Excuse me. Greetings. Please peruse my selection, which exclusively contains works by known artists. Sure. Paint your portrait of smiling woman for nine dollars. Red bearded man. All right. Sure. Oh, oh, no. Okay, we already saw that. That was in the village. Saw that too. Yeah. And this is concept art. Okay. Come on back, even if you're just looking. Sure. Uh... Ah, do you have a bunch of cauliflower? Excuse me. Hello there. Reasonably priced and refreshing fruit for sale. Have you seen any of the red snakes around? The red snakes? I don't know those thugs. Okay. Thanks anyway. Decorate a home? I have no idea. Excuse me. Hello. Want some fresh, cheap pre-cut fruit? Okay. One. Okay, so that, that costs the same as uh, the cauliflower. Okay, so it looks like apples are uh, going to be our price to, to value thing here. Alright. Seems to be enough to heal. Okay. Thanks again. I'm probably gonna have to do some lucky hit to uh, be able to afford healing stuff pretty soon. Yeah, I thought it was supposed to be pre-cut too, but I guess not. Who is? Oh my God! It's him. He's back. That Ren. Is that really, all I get. And, and it doesn't sound like him. Is that better, sir? Ah, uh, you're making me repeat myself. This much. I want this much. Okay, now it sounds a little more like him. I might as well just do it myself. Please, sir. Give me a break. I've got a business to run. I can't believe how stingy you people are. Ren? Huh? Jeez. Ren. Oh, for crying out loud. What are you doing here? That Ren. Can't you tell? I'm buying some chow mein. This is no time for jokes. There you go with that scary face again. What the hell are you doing in Niawu? You remember hearing Ju Yuan Da's story back in Kowloon? About what? Treasure. I'm talking about treasure. The scent is so strong I can practically smell it. You. I'm gonna walk around some more. See ya. That wren could easily pass for a red <laughs> snake. That wren. Guess it's back to the bustling diner I go. Okay. I'll pass. So just like in Bailu Village, it's... Oh my god. More swag walking in, in the city. So just like in Bailu Village, it's 
go do a story thing in one end of the town and then go to the run back to the other end of the town and then probably run back again and rinse and repeat. Alright, are any of these for uh one play for six six whatever that is. Six Huh. Hmm. I'm not sure why I'd uh grind for money here if I needed to, which I, I probably am gonna need to, because I gotta be able to to buy cauliflower. Oh, this is a, this is a no running zone here. This must be, I I bet that they put in sections like that and also the one by the docks, so that PS4 can uh, can stream in the data. That has to be why they why they did that. Hey Saint, no running. <clears throat> Cause I, I I can't think of any other really good reason for them to to have that. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm trying to track down the red snakes. Could you tell me what you know about them? Try asking another staff member. Out front. Out front? Got it. Thanks for the tip. Uh, there's... There's more staff members? Alright. That's one of the, um... The rare, uh, gathering items, I think, back there. Is this guy's staff? Excuse me. Huh? I'm trying to track down the red snakes. Could you tell me what you know about them? They never pay for anything. They just eat for free and call it a protection fee. They do this often? Yeah, whenever and wherever they feel like it. They're as vile as they come. I heard they got revenge on the priest of Hua Shao Temple when he spoke out against them. Hua Shao Temple, huh? Okay. multiples of those. I guess I I haven't sold any herbs in a while. Oh, finally uh, an, an orange. That is an orange, apparently. I haven't sold any herb sets in many hours of in-game time, so uh, I could probably get a decent amount for all the stuff I have right now. And turn it into apples. And I can turn those apples into kung fu. Yeah, all the food's already out. But uh, it just occurred to me that that might be like plastic display food. <laughs> you never know. Like these... These look a little too... A little too perfect. What even is it? Huh. Like some weird river fish. Alright. Can we go through the drawers? Nope. Okay, so we said temple? Wash out temple. Shallon Supply, Liquor Heaven, so there's another liquor store in case we got another dumb side quest. Yeah. <laughs> yep, that's, that's one of Rio's upgrades from 2, is that he's got Extendo Arms. He already has the power to turn into a spooky ghost. And now he can go go gadget. Oh my god. 
Uh. Okay, specialty goods. Okay, hall. Okay. She might know where the temple is. Excuse me. Hit me. What? How do I get to Hua Shao Temple? Oh. You do have eyes, don't you? <laughs> Didn't you see that huge temple gate next door? I should go. <laughs> yeah. All right, good talk, lady. <laughs> yep, toy caps machines. And that's just going to, like, teach us a kung fu move. Like everybody else who says, who said hit me <laughs> before. People doing such terrible things. I'm guessing this is the Red Snakes. Your guess is correct. They threaten and extort money from shop owners, get drunk by noon, and cause trouble. Something's weird with that guy's beard. Try to and here. Behavior, and this is what I got in return. They are heartless. If only the people would band together to drive them out. Oh, everyone in town is afraid of them. It's really detailed painting. Jeez. Speaking of, where can I find these red snakes? I haven't the slightest idea. However... Yes? There was a bit of a scuffle on Sonari Road some time back. Sonari Road? Ah, on the other side of town. If you ask around there, you might find something out. I'm shocked. While you're here, why don't you go take a look at the main hall? Hmm? Mm hmm? Fortunately, the red snakes didn't make it that far, so it remains unscathed. Okay, so what's, what's there to see in the main hall? Unless it's a trap. All right. They have a cool rug. They got painting of whatever that is. All right. <laughs> sure. Whoever smelt it, dealt it. And here they're, they're doing a limbo competition, I guess. And another one over here. Okay. No, no, this is where the duck racing happens. It's gotta be. Because the, the duck races were in the temple, uh, the temple section of two. Ah, back here where all the backer stuff is. This is... Okay. This is probably some backer thing. I'm guessing. Give you Suzuki ten thousand dollars and you two can have whatever those things are. Yep. Cool, thanks, monk. Uh, I'm glad the monk let us know that that, that was there. Traveler. Stay and listen to a song. Take this with you. Ah, all right. Why me? <laughs> you look like you're from Japan. And your appearance suggests that you're a martial artist. 
A martial artist once visited this temple a long time ago. What? <laughs> this is something that martial artist dedicated to the temple. It can only serve its purpose if you possess it. Take it, and may safety accompany you in your travels. Hmm. All right. Yeah, the the backer stuff does kind of kind of break immersion. Well, it, it's mostly if you know that it's there. Like if you didn't know that it was there, it wouldn't be that jarring. But if you're familiar with the development of the game and all the amazing things surrounding it, uh, it's kind of hard not to notice it. <laughs> Okay, what's over here? Let's extendo arm over there. <laughs> that was... That was like 10 feet away. Alright. Aha. Yeah, the bloodstained portraits were, were cool. I liked those. Citrus peel. Okay. Okay. Luckily, these things stick out. Easy to spot. Okay, we should be pretty good on money now. now that we got all these plants. But yeah, I uh um okay, if if you don't want to hear about the end credits of the game, um mute me for 30 seconds or so here. Starting Right about now, let's say. So there was a news story today I saw in my feeds that apparently during during the credits, the end credits of this game, there is a letter from Yu Suzuki saying, hey, we're going to do another Kickstarter for Shenmue 4. Because <laughs> he wants to keep making these until he can't anymore. So... I, I'm not expecting any closure at all from this game. Great. <laughs> okay. So, we good now. Here, let's... We good. You can unmute now. If you didn't want the, the spoilers there. Okay. <clears throat> so, I thought that was amazing. Okay. All right, so what, what are we looking for? We're looking for Centery Road. Okay. I guess I can look for a pawn shop while I'm uh, right here. Wait, no, it was General. The General Store guy is the one who bought the, the herbs last time. Uh, and I don't remember seeing any General Stores. And it's not like I can ask around in town because there's like... 30 stores. Blossom Direct. Alright. Blue store. If you're looking for a souvenir from Hua Xiao Temple, this is it. Well, there's no sell button there. Okay, 15, 16. Man, look at all this crap you can buy. Okay. Nyawu shirt. I can fly. Says Chobu Chan. God, I bet 100%ing this game. Whoever does the eventual 100% category of this, they're in for a, a real fun time. Look at our selection of gifts from Hua Xiao Temple. Okay. Specialty goods. 
I'm assuming she can't. She's not buying. <laughs> Why? Well, okay, herb shop. This is this is probably going to be a good place to sell herbs. I'm guessing. We've got a nice selection. And just so you know, we also buy medicinal herbs. All right, good. That's all I was hoping for. If you have a set of herbs on you, we'll take them off your hands. Mm, man. Uh, we've seen... Not in... Not in Yao. We have not seen a cat here yet. I've heard plenty of them, but I've not seen them. Okay, 300, 600... Okay, 600 for all that. 300, and that's for one orange. 300. Okay, this is... This is quite lucrative. Okay. It's a ton of money for that. Uh, sure. Okay, that's... That has really helped with their money problems here. Okay. Oh, now these will make some potent medicine. If you come across more of this stuff, hurry on back. Okay. Yep, no running here. We gotta load data. He's a guy I couldn't talk to before. Um... Am I liking it so far? Uh, I'm CC. Excuse me. Hmm? Oh, hi! Long time no see. Uh, huh? Huh? Or not? That's right. Oh, I remember. You're from the sausage stand. What? No, I'm. What? But I'm sure I've met you somewhere. Oh, could you be a cormorant fisherman? That's totally wrong. All right, good talk. Maybe she knows where Centauri Road is. Can I ask you something? What? Which way is Centauri Road? It'd be fastest to head through Vendor Avenue. Okay, great. Thanks. Cool. All right, so, so as far as liking the game, as a fan of Shenmue 2, uh, I am enjoying the extension to the story that that three is so far, but there are certainly issues that I have with the structure of this game. Um, they can they kind of really change the gameplay loop for the worse in this, uh, which I'll I'll get into once I'm I'm done with Shenmue three because they might be done with it. But so far I have some have some issues with the. Uh, some of the changes they made to uh, to the gameplay, because they did make it a more dull experience. I agree with that. That this is uh, this is kind of a step down from uh, from two. Excuse me. Welcome. Our mooncakes are sweet and delicious. Want to try one? Do you know where Sonari Road is? Sonari Road. That's like super far. Why not refuel with a mooncake? I'm good. Thanks. You sure? Sonari Road is down at the lower end of Vendor Avenue. Lower end. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. And I think that's this way. Yeah, I hear lots of cats. Don't see any cats, though. Yeah, I haven't seen any cats. All right, so here's another another loading zone. Hold on, those base model PS4s I have to load all this. Excuse me. Hello there. 
How would you like your hair cut? Do you know where Sonari Road is? Sonari Road? That's kind of far from here. It's still far from here? You'll have to go all the way down Vendor Avenue. Okay. Thanks. Sure. Excuse me. Hello. Welcome. Looking for a gift for your girlfriend? Oh God, or perhaps your family? Let me know your budget, and I'll make the perfect bouquet or wreath for you. Actually, I'm here for something else. Oh, all right. Uh, how can I help? Do you know the way to Sonari Road? Sonari Road is just past the fishing wharf. Oh, but the fishing wharf is closed off right now. So you'll have to go around Vendor Avenue up ahead. Oh. Got it. Thanks for the tip. So I want the... I took a wrong turn somewhere. It'd be nice if there were proper maps in this game, rather than this useless mini-map. Like... <laughs> oh my god. Maybe they they knew about the map glitch in Shenmue 2 and just said, fuck it, let's just remove maps altogether. Just give them this bad mini-map and make them ask to pad out the gameplay. Because that is, that is one of my gripes. This over here. So the, the duck races were behind, or the access to them was behind a boarded up thing in Shenmue 2. Here is a similarly boarded up thing. Yeah, we got to find a man with the tracksuit stat. Then we'll be headed the right direction. Okay, so I haven't gone right yet. So maybe it's over here. I'm at like half health, so let's let's refuel on some apples. Oh, it's down. So it's exactly what I was talking about before. So the game sends us off to one end of the city, then makes us run back, and then now we're back here again. Because this is where the, the statue store was. Oh my god. Yeah, it was it was one of these stands over here. This one right here. <laughs> this is where they sent us in the photo, and then we had to go to like the temp or the diner, and then we went back here to talk to Ren, and then we went back to the temple again. <laughs> like, this is so bullshit. This <sighs> All right, Centenary Avenue, Centenary Road, which is okay. And, and they did that in in Bailu Village as well. They did the same thing. This must be Sonari Road. Alright. So it gives us a Captain Obvious cutscene. Just like Shenmue 2. Hmm. So a cutscene into a cutscene. What's this? A pair of red snakes. Could they have brought Mr. Yuan here? I should go talk to someone at that shrine. Yeah, it's one way to pad the length of a game, but it's not a good way to do it. Right. Like, it, it's like the MMO strat. Of... We need our subscribers to, uh... To pay us again next month, so we'll, uh... We'll make things just as time-consuming... To do anything. Is this what's different from two? This this the the gameplay stretching is um, one of the differences. Um, they added in the the stamina system in this, which is the um, the health bar here that depletes throughout the day. Uh, you have to eat food to replenish it. There's also this um, 
kind of RPG leveling for your um, your overall stats, which is different from the first two games. The first two games, you could um, you could level up individual skills, but not like your overall health or attack power. Um, so it's like the the gameplay is kind of a fusion of one and two, but it it comes off worse for it. Is how I how I feel about that. And then the the game world itself is physically smaller, so in order to make it last longer they did a whole bunch of like required backtracking did they wreck this place too and like backtracking is fine if it's used not that often but it it feels like this game is nothing but backtracking <laughs> it is kind of the the feel i get of it like there, there's probably going to be a cutscene in here, and then hey, you got to go back to the back to the harbor and talk to the forklift guy. After this, there's a red snake meeting at the forklifts. But maybe it's just this one section. Oh, here you come again. Got the wrong guy. Lies! I know you're with the red snakes. Red snakes? Hold on. I'm looking for those guys. What? Can you tell me what happened here? I I'm sorry. I've made a grave mistake. What did those jerks do? The red snakes. They came here and barged into Leo Jiao Shrine. And then they stole the shrine's treasure. They don't know when to stop. It's a treasure that has been kept at this shrine for many, many years. <sighs> I'd like to ask you about the boat. The one at the pier over there. The red snakes came here on that boat a while back. Did you see them? Yes, I did see them. And I saw them dragging two men along with them. I knew it. Mr. Yun was here. Did you see where they went? That way. I see. And, if you've got time, please have a look at the shrine in the back. Huh? This is an absolutely beautiful shrine. Huh? People who visit often leave offerings with their names on them. Oh my god. <laughs> The red snakes <laughs> haven't managed to tear up the inside. Feel free to have a look. <sighs> yeah, it's probably more backer shit. I can't believe it. I it's really late. I think I'll head back to the hotel. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm really sorry about earlier. It's okay. Please take this as an apology. It, it's a backer token. You can use it to unlock DLC. Uh, okay. Thank you. I'm Shirling. Ling Shirling. I'm Dio. Dio Hazuki. It's nice to meet you, Shirling. When you decide to deal with those red snakes, please let me know. I'd rather not get you involved. <laughs> Shirling. <laughs> They did. I want to give them a taste of their own medicine. Yeah. I know how you must feel. Oh my god. Shrines dedicated to Kickstarter backers. A shrine maiden literally named Shilling. Hey, Shenhua. Alright. Hi, Dio. Sure. I found an abandoned boat with a red snake oh, on man. the Sonari Road. Hey, Maka. <laughs> a red snake? You don't think... The red snakes might have brought Yuren here. Yes, Ryo. I had a feeling. I paid the shrine a visit in case anyone had seen anything. And? I found a lot of backer names in there. With a broom. What? 
The shrine maiden there mistook me for one of the red snakes and tried to chase me off. The maiden did that? How awful. She quickly realized her mistake, but it seems the red snakes attacked Liu Zhao shrine. How low will they go? The shrine maiden was devastated too. I wish we could help them. Wait, was I right about the limbo thing? That poor maiden. How low will they go? Leo, I'm going to go back to the room. I'm a backer, but I'm only in the backer credits because I, I merely gave Yu Suzuki a hundred a hundred dollars. I didn't give Yu Suzuki ten thousand dollars or whatever it is to to go to McDonald's with him and then put on his jacket briefly while he hugs you. You know, like a real fan would. Shame on me. Alright, just like I thought. Shenfa's here to creep on us while we're sleeping. Just like the first game. <sighs> yeah, I would have given $29 if I had known that the demo was two minutes long and that we get it a month before the game came out. <laughs> uh about backwards. Maybe the, the red snakes will have some uh, some backer names written on their hideout. And they'll they want us to see it before we uh we finish. Sunday Road Shrine. Alright, well we gotta check out the shrine, because you never know, it might be Oh. We might get a solid lead there. Looks good. But first it's we gotta good. get our free apples. What if one of the quests is, oh man, some backer backer rewards got stolen by the red snakes and we got to go retrieve them to unlock them. Oh boy. But yeah, I I can't wait until we see the the credits to the game and we see the personal letter, the Yu Suzuki letter. Can't wait. Hey, you. Yes. You need to pay for your room tonight. Don't tell me you don't have any... Is it, is it going to be like this? Okay, good. We can skip this, at least. Uh. Okay. All right. Let's have the same conversation, Morning. Shenfa. Morning. Be careful out there. Hmm? Those thugs are out there somewhere. Yeah, I know. You should watch out, too. Right. Stay away from anyone suspicious looking. Then come find me. Yeah, it might not be okay, backers. Okay, I will. You never know. <laughs> the moose driving structure. Yeah. Yeah, I could I could see that. Now turn to the left. That's all I remember from the song. Plus I don't want to get the, the video copyright struck. Whoever owns the, the Parappa and the Umjamer Lamy soundtracks are they're going hard in the paint on copyright uh or content ID flagging every single video that I have that I played a an OST song from those. <laughs> so no more of those, I guess. Okay, so it's this way. And then there's a right turn up here. Alright. Let's go see this shrine to the backers. And I'm sure once we investigate this, we'll probably have to run back to some other temple. Oh, but first. 
What is that I hear out there? What is that I hear in the distance? Maybe that's what's in the shrine. Okay. Alright, it's over there somewhere. It's in the shrine. It must be like right underneath the What's this? Like under here maybe. Hmm. All right, let's let's see this definitely not the uh, backer shrine over here. It's way over there, wherever it is. Okay, so what is all this? Uh. Chobuchan. What's this? Guess I'll take it. Uh oh. We're defiling a temple. <laughs> uh. All right, let's get out of here. I'm sure they won't mind. All right. You got a minute? What can I do for you, Ryo? Did you see where the red snakes went? They went that way. I see. All right. The $800 reward? Oh my god. $800 for that. Well, we'll plus all the other rewards, but that is some dedication. That is some dedication. Why can't the, the Grand Stream Saga team put together a Kickstarter? I would give them $100 for the Grand Stream Saga 2. And I'm sure the tens of fans around the world probably will too. And we can buy him a nice dinner. Is this where all the ducks that uh, lose the duck race go? They get sent here. God. Yes. Yes. Oh, 
Oh my god. This is fantastic. And they got a nice big, big area here for a little racetrack. So we can, we can chase the ducks around. And they got little duck prisons over here. Yeah, who cares about the backer stuff? There's, there's duck heaven and some amazing reflections. Lots of care put into Duck Heaven. This is less Duck Heaven and more like Duck Prison. But, alright. <laughs> yeah, the power of the Unreal Engine. Well, Ducks, it's been real. Maybe there's a, a story thing happening here later. Yep, Duck Oranges. Okay. Well, that, that was exciting. Grab this and then find out where the red snakes are. A lot of herbs here. Man. This is nice. Okay. Maybe if you come here after dark, that's when the, the duck races happen. Is that Chenfa? Just in case. Wait, this is... Uh, apparently the thugs went over here somewhere. Uh, backers only. Looks like I can't get through here. What is that? Is that, uh, that's the duck race guy's hel uh, hat. Wh what the hell's going on over here? Heaven's Fist. Excuse me. Looking for something? Oh man, is this, is this right in from the Mortal Kombat movie? Have you seen any of the red snakes around? The red snakes? I've heard of them. Haven't seen them. Okay, thanks. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be set for money. Some Well, Shrine Maiden pointed us over here, but Excuse me. I'll be right with you. What? Yeah. How about Have you seen any what? red snakes around here? I will find a member of our staff for you. One moment, please. Is, is she a robot? Where can I find him? Right over there, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I'll go ask. Whatever they're paying you, it's too much. 
Excuse me. Hello. If you want to win some, you got to dim some. If you want to win some, you got to dim some. Have you seen any of the red snakes around? I do not allow people like them to enter my shop. Really? Much has happened. But you don't have to worry about them here. Okay. Thanks. All right. Well, Shrine Maiden said they're over here, and, uh... Excuse me. What is it? Have you seen any of the red snakes? Around? What? You sell fish <laughs> here. If you want snakes, find a snake shop. <laughs> we don't need another take of that one. That was perfect. I'm looking for some thugs that call themselves the Red Snakes. I can't help you there. Okay, thanks. Excuse me. Need something? Have you seen any of the Red Snakes around? Red Snakes? You mean those thugs? Can't imagine them ever coming here to fish. Okay, thanks. Okay. I'm getting the feeling we've been led astray. How about some Peking duck? I promise it's delicious. If you come to Nya Wu without trying our Peking duck, you'll regret it. Uh, Once you've had it, you get a certificate. A certificate? Have a seat right now, and you'll have the unique honor of being our 2,005,851st customer. Oh. Okay. Can I ask you a question? So a receipt hmm? is what we get. What is it? Have you seen any of the red snakes around? Red snakes? Oh, you mean those thugs? Can you tell me anything about them? I remember one saying something about them. When? He's one of my employees. Where can I find this when? One is in the mountains nearby catching ducks. In the mountains? If you go down that road, You'll see a mountain trail to the right. Okay, I'll head over. When you're done with your business, be sure to come and eat. All right, so there is a reason for Duck Heaven. Though Duck Heaven is where they hang out before they're turned into Peking Duck. All right. This is... Duck Heaven? So this is where I'll find Wen. Sorry, but are you Wen? That I am. I have some questions. Well, that all depends on whether you're willing to help me out a little first. Are we going to be catching ducks? You can ask me whatever you want after that. Oh, man. Uh, sure. The ducks went into hiding. Mind finding ten of them for me? Huh? Put them in I've duck jail. I've got other business to attend to, so I'll be counting on you. Guess I've got no choice. It's just the... It's the chicken catching minigame, except with ducks. Oh man, I feel really bad about this though. Like, we're catching these ducks to put them in duck jail so they could be turned into food. This is... This is horrible. Alright. You may live... You may also live. <laughs> Whew. 
Thanks for the help. You're pretty good. Wrangle ducks before, have you? No, but I have experience with chickens. What? Chickens? Not cannon. You're a funny one. So, what did you want to ask me? Someone at the restaurant told me that you have seen the red snakes. Red snakes? Leave me out of that conversation, young man. So you know about them? I've seen them around New Paradise. New Paradise? Yeah, they come and go around that place with all the games. Adventure area, huh? Will that be all? I'm busy too, you know. Oh yes, sure. very busy. Oh, almost forgot. There's your reward. Nice. I'm always hiring if you're in need of a job. Thank you very much. So we could do part-time work wrangling ducks. I'll pass. Oh, I'd rather chop wood than take part in the evil duck industry. Okay, so maybe that uh, that area up there is open now. And nope. Okay. Go to New Paradise to investigate. Okay, I saw a road sign for that back here, so... I think that was the other direction. So it wasn't that one, it was back, back that way. Um, Ryo's duck apparently isn't canon. Because it, uh... Um, at the end of 2, it was most certainly in your inventory, but, uh... Uh, key items does not have a duck. It has this, like, it has this non-canon photo here. I most certainly did not use this photo. Uh, and you can skip the joy photo. And this I, I've never gotten in any playthrough. But uh, there's no duck here. Also, this leaf is apparently in the, the basement of the dojo, but I never got that in any of my playthroughs. And then the watch, you can't, uh... You can't hit the A button to light up the watch. Very disappointing. So I assume the... The duck... Flew out of the bag during the final cutscene of, uh... Genmu 2. Okay, New Paradise is this way, apparently. Maybe New Paradise is, uh... Hmm. Not that. Well, maybe, there, maybe there'll be a sign for it. Because there's this. Like, I'm not sure why, what the point of this is. It's, it's not like this is a shortcut. Yeah, we left it with Bobby. And here's Bobby's cousin. I need your help. Oh, hi, mister. I want to go to New Paradise. New Paradise, huh? That's up above the promenade. You know how there's an arcade up in the promenade? New Paradise is across the street. Okay, thanks. Okay. Alright, small child is more helpful than a lot of the NPCs in this game. Here's Swagwalker again. <laughs> oh, no Swagwalk down the stairs. And then Swagwalk resumed. <laughs> Okay, so it's this way. <laughs> yep, good old Swagwalker. Did you uh, did you beat that uh, new Star Wars game, Saint? Yeah, promenade this way, Ender Avenue. So it's across. So here's the arcade, and it's, apparently it's across the street. You did. Nice. Uh. Oh, there's Ren. 
It was okay, really glitchy. Well, and that's par for the course hey for Star Wars games. Is this it? <laughs> so are you at all surprised? <laughs> that's how it turned out. So over there... Okay, so we essentially just had to take the long way. Because this is... This is that thing that we saw... Yeah, so just like before... Is this where the, the secret fight club is? You can go down here. Uh. Why, yes, I'd like a seat here. So I can stare at this for my whole meal. And yeah, it's, it's the weird backtracking thing again. She's on one of the posters around town. And in a magazine. Excuse me. Hi there. Hey, what do you think of this cafe? It's a little creepy. What do you mean? The manager is always going on about wooden dummies. Every day it's dummy this, dummy that. It's bad enough that I wonder if there's anything else going on in that head of his. Really? Just a while ago, he spent the whole day thinking up a name for his new dummy. It's fine to like dummies, but I wish he'd put some effort into the cafe too. I see. I see. You Suzuki, what what in the hell? Uh How's it going? Hello. Hi there. First time here? Yeah. You look like you're into martial arts. Well, a bit. Wow, that's so cool! Show those dummies who's boss. I'll think about it. <laughs> I... Oh man, this... this is the Shenmu experience. Okay. Sure. So yeah, here's that. Here's the area can't get through here. where we were before, and just like, just like before, they intentionally pad it out by making you backtrack and then run through the the whole city again, just to loop around back to where we were. It's just, it's it's been like that every single step of the way. Like, come on. Ren. Yo! Nice work, man. Hey. Huh. <laughs> Later. Oh. Okay. Alright, good talk, Ren. Oh, here's... I wonder if these are backers. Alright. So this is, if we need money, this is where we're going to have to do it at some point later. 2,000 max bet times 2 times 3. So it's the, the one-shot ones that we want. The so times 30. It, it'd probably be this one is the one we want. Uh, but they give you... It's perfect 3, whatever that is. Do you have to do it on all three of them? Hmm. What about these? 25. And this is circle 2. Huh. Weird. Yep, the $4,000 backer reward. Yep. Uh, okay. Ask about the red snakes at New Paradise. Okay. Nice. Excuse me. 
Hey, come and take a look at our hottest instruments. We have all the latest models. Have you seen any of the red snakes around? Hey, man, we don't jam with criminal elements in New Paradise. I see him going in and out of the prize exchange, though. Okay. Thanks. Alright. Cafe. Bar. There's some more of this incredible s smoke tech that they got. <laughs> On shop. Prize cafe. Okay. Excuse me. Make your way up to the second floor and get yourself some prizes. Have you seen any of the red snakes around? They come around every now and again. Don't get mixed up with them. They seem to be after Yi Rua at the prize exchange on the second floor. Okay, thanks. Yeah, it's like the tip of the, the cigarette emits a particle that just stays in place and then fades out. And that's... That's not how smoke works. <laughs> like maybe they use the wrong, uh, the wrong particle preset or something built into Unreal. Excuse me. Come on up. The prize exchange is right here. Have you seen any of the red snakes around? Sometimes they come here. They always say really disgusting things. I only put up with it because it's better than having them trash my shop. I see. It sounds like they cause major trouble at the Muren Cafe. So I'm walking on eggshells here. Muren Cafe, huh? Okay, thanks. What do you bet? The Muren Cafe is across town. Excuse me. Come on up. The prize exchange is right here. <laughs> Where is the Murin Cafe? It's a little ways below here. Look for a wooden bridge. Okay. Thanks. Below. You can see it from here, too. That right there is the roof. Got it. Thanks for the tip. Okay. So it must be... So it's not the Moku Moku Cafe. This must be... So she pointed that way. So it's it's not that. So it must be down there, maybe. Golden goose. Uh, hi. The general public can step no further. I see. Can you help me? Sure. I wouldn't take another step further if I were you. <laughs> right. Trying to figure out the appeal? Well, it's... Uh, Shenmue 3 in particular is very much only for people who have played and enjoyed at least Shenmue 2. Because uh, I would not recommend this game to anybody who hasn't played the other games. <laughs> um, and I also would not recommend it to anybody who didn't enjoy the other two games. And their particular brand of, uh, of adventure. Uh, this is not the right cafe, apparently. Unless it is. Excuse me. Hi there! Hey, what do you think of this cafe? What do you mean? I can't skip this. The manager this. is always going on about wooden dummies. Every day it's dummy this, dummy that. It's bad enough that I wonder if there's anything else going on in that head of his. How do I compare this to two? Um, this is... A while ago, he spent the whole day thinking up a name for his new dummy. This is a fair it's amount dummies, worse than two. put some effort into the cafe, too. I see. I think they made some poor decisions in the structure of this game compared to two. I don't like the changes to the combat system. Uh, the towns feel emptier. Um, the story, the story itself is is fine. 
Let's say the actual story is fine. The way that they structured how you get to each bit of story, though, I think is is pretty awful. Because so far it's been go to one end of the city and then go to the exact opposite end of the city and then go to the exact opposite of that part of the city. And it's it's like they're intentionally padding out, uh, padding out the game in a not very good way. So, geez, is it, is it that over there? You said it was over there. Maybe I gotta go, oh god, maybe I do have to go back down there. Lord of the Hats. Excuse me. How about a nice new hat? I'll pick one out for you. Sure. Where is the Mu Ren Cafe? Head toward the new paradise sign. Look for the ugly old wooden bridge that doesn't fit with the new stonework. Got it. Thanks for the tip. Okay. So the, uh, this? So this is where I just was. Excuse me. Looking for a quick hit? Uh. Welcome to the newest hotspot in Yawu, the Muren Cafe. Wait, what? I I was. Have you seen any of the red snakes around? The red snakes? Oh yeah, those pests. What happened? This is the Moku Moku really Cafe, made life though. Difficult for us. I don't know what set them off, but they tore through the shop. They threw food everywhere and flipped tables. It was disgusting. Mr. Sure finally drove them off. Mr. Sure. Mr. Sure. Wait, what? The it's the arts teacher at Liu Ha Ha. I had no idea he was so tough. He took care of those red snakes in no time. I couldn't believe it. Mr. Sure at Liu Ha Ha. What? What? So, so Mr. Sure X U is the guy that we're looking for for the main main plot thing and that's what the subtitle said but then it changed to Mr. Sure HSU uh, a man named Sure Shu sh uh, HSU go to Luhe Hall that's um that's uh that's down there I think or it's um Oh, that's that's where the hit me lady was, I think. Uh, who was who was sweeping out front, and that's uh, that's way the hell over here, I think. If I remember correctly, I was by the temple. But first, we have to go through this this PS4 loading zone. I'm hoping this is the correct place. Pretty sure it was over here. Hey, Hall. Yep. All right. We'll be in here. Or? Well, I don't. I don't see the guy. Of course, there's his big sign out here too uh and now if we talk to her she's probably gonna say oh he's down by the docks excuse me hit me is this the way to Liu Ha Hall that it is I'm looking for Mr. Sure Mr. Sure <laughs> I haven't seen him today come to think of it sure okay thanks come by again tomorrow Got it. Thanks for the tip. Tomorrow. Okay. Hi, Cyrus. Okay, so come by tomorrow? And it didn't... It's not giving me the, the fast travel option, so maybe there's some plot thing that happens when we go over here.
Yep, suddenly rain. And I'm still bothered that there's no umbrellas. Like, Ryo never used an umbrella in Shenmue 1 or 2, but the, the NPCs did. Alright, let's head back to the... Back to the docks, I guess. Well, from what I've seen of the the newest Yakuza game, it's they're kind of going in the same direction that Final Fantasy kind of did. Where from like Final Fantasy 9 to 10 and then 10 to 12 and then 12 to 13, they changed the gameplay styles while still keeping Final Fantasy-ish stuff. So they're they're probably aiming to do a similar thing with with Yakuza to keep it uh, to keep it fresh. So I don't know. I wouldn't write it off uh, immediately before um, seeing exactly how it plays. Because, like, the, the... It's not only the gameplay, really, that you might like about Yakuza. You might also like all the, the goofy stuff that apparently is in it. Like in Shenmue. <laughs> so there's... There might be still, uh... Still good reasons to, uh... To give it a play. Well, five o'clock, time to hit the hay. And one day I'll go to the right end of the hotel. So those of you who missed uh, the first, um, let's see, hour and a half or so, uh, we didn't accomplish too much. We're still looking for, for the thugs, but we did uh, come across Duck Heaven, which is where the, the Peking Duck restaurant keeps their stock of ducks. And we had to do a duck catching mini game that's just like the, the chicken catching mini game. And so far, that's been the, the kind of one thing of note. Um, the other thing to note is that Ren is has showed up. Uh, meet Sue, find a blossom bird. Okay. All right, let's get our free apples. This looks good. I guess I'll take it. Filthy. Can't they move us? Okay, okay, I'll do something about it. Just calm down, all right? I want a luxury suite. A suite? Don't make me repeat myself. Clean, spacious, great view. A room fit for a queen like me. Nothing but the best for you, my lady. Sure. Yeah, Ren is the, uh, the guy with the blue jacket from Shenmue 2. Who was with us for uh, the second half of the game? That Ren. Hey, you. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Hi, Leo. Patient. Good mo morning. Are you? Yeah, I should. I'm get. Yeah. Okay. Same exact conversation as the previous day. Yeah, that guy's totally a Dragon Quest character. All right. So now we get to run all the way back to that temple again. <sighs> um, helping Ryo, he's he said that he is here because he heard that there's treasure involved, um, and that was that was part of the the long set of cutscenes at the end of the Kowloon portion of Shenmue Two. Um, when Young Da Zhu 
was uh, hotboxing Ren's hideout and showing us the cool um, star map from the, the Dragon Mirror. He mentioned treasure. And Ren remember that, so he, he pursued us into China. Because he wants treasure as well. The color is so green. Is this even a fruit? What kind of fruit is it? It's, you know, that one fruit. Isn't that right? This is a monk fruit, a Guiling specialty. They call it a spiritual fruit. Great for your skin and mm. beauty. Oh my. All right, we'll take them all. We'll buy the lot. Another QT, it looks like. Oh no, look out for Bobby. They had to split this QT up into multiple segments. His hair physics kind of freaked out there. Move it! You're funny. You want to die, Grant? As you can see, just a cormorant fisherman. All right. Excuse me. Huh? Hey, Aki. How's Shenmue 3? It is getting worse. <laughs> Could you please give this to the couple in 207? To be honest. What? Please. Uh, fine. Uh. Yeah, the uh, the gameplay loop has changed a little bit in the in this new section of the game. I have to talk to Mr. Shu at Liu Ha Hall. So what they're doing in this in this part in the big city is um they're making you for each story thing. Hey, here's Ren by the way. Ren. Yo. Nice work, man. Hey. <laughs> Later. <laughs> that that's all he said to us so far. Um, so the the way that they're they're structuring the each plot thing is like say say over there go to the end of that pier and that's where a story thing is and then the next step in the quest is way the hell on the other side of the city and then 
we do a, a plot thing there that's like a five minute walk away and then the next step in the quest is like back over here and then it continues it's it's been like that for like 10 steps where they're just they're just, it's bad it is not not well designed like and it's getting more and more clear to me that it was because they needed to pad out the length of this Kind of like they put in the, the $2,000 roadblock for um, uh, the plot advancement in the in the village in the early part of the game. Yeah, they, they want to make sure that you go to every place in the city. Like, it, it, it felt much more organic in 1 and 2. It's like you'll you'll naturally come across the the other parts of the city just as you're exploring and all that. But for this game, it's like, okay, we made all these parts of the city, and we're going to make the player go to each and every one of them. Uh, okay, it was this way. I think. I think it was this way. And, yeah, i not a fan of how they did that. Like, it, it worked a little bit better in, in Bailu Village, because there's a smaller area, and it, it kind of made more sense how they, they walled off parts of the game. But... It is, it is really obvious in this uh, this section of the game, and I'm I'm hoping they change it, uh, or or it, it becomes a little bit different as we advance in the story a bit more. Because if it's like this for the rest of the game, then oh boy, like there certainly was a few tedious things in the first two games. Not I'm not saying that those were action packed nonstop thrill second but uh but it is really apparent in this one are you mr sure yeah what do you want i heard you fought off the red snakes in new paradise You Japanese? Uh, yes. And you do martial arts? I do. Then why don't we talk with our fists? Other big locations? Japanese fighting style? I'll tell you anything you want to know after that. Anything? Anything? Yeah. Well, I mean, anything I know, at least. <laughs> the Shrek clothes. As far as I know, there's only two major locations in the game. Alright, so this is gonna be our our sparring buddy in uh in this town. As far as I know, this is there's only two um two major locations. Like Shenmu 1 had um the city and it had the docks as kind of its main uh main location. Shenmu 2 was Hong Kong and Kowloon and then uh Langdrushan. We had three, but this one's this one's back to two. He's getting American fighting style right now. Alright, we have mastered tornado kick. Yeah, we're in the second location now. The first location is Bailu Village, this uh, small village in the countryside. It's like a kind of a farming area, and this is more of a, a big city location along the river. Yeah, this is Nyawu or Nyawu, Nyawu. Can we talk now? Yeah, a promise is a promise. I hear you fended off the Red Snakes in New Paradise. 
Hey, Ed. They were threatening the folks at the Muren Cafe. What did they look like? There were two of them. One was thin, and the other was big as a panda. The same pair that was at the bustling diner. So, you've met them already. They're called Lu and Shung. Yeah. Wait! So you're the out-of-towner that helped out the dried goods vendor? Yeah, I guess. I heard about that. Let me thank you as well. It wasn't anything. Red snakes are really running loose. They even attacked Hua Xiao Temple. Talk about bad karma. So this is a new music track, by the way. But there's nothing I can do against an entire gang. This wasn't in one or two. So one of the few rare do new music. They are? There's a casino called the Golden Goose in New Paradise. They often gather there. The Golden Goose. So New Paradise, <laughs> it's on the other side of town. I I'm shocked. I'm shocked. That we gotta run to the other side of town. Cause I there is this um there is this gate down here. The gate has been closed, but I'm pretty sure that's a shortcut to to New Paradise. Like Blossom Road. Um And is the gate open? Gate is closed. Yeah. Great. Fantastic. Yeah, moving up the bird chain. Yeah, for those of you coming in late, there is a a spot um, by the Peking Duck Restaurant called Duck Heaven. That is just a big old pen filled with a bunch of ducks and a bunch of little duck jails. And we actually had a mini game, a duck catching mini game. There has not been a duck racing mini game, though. Unfortunate. Uh, can I? Uh... No, there's still the other thing over there. Okay, I think this is a golden goose. So this one's not that far away, thankfully. And it's closed. Opens a new. Okay. Is it really not gonna let me? It opens at noon. Okay. Guess I'll come back later. Yeah, it, it it actually was kind of upsetting. Okay, since we have time before this opens, and it isn't giving me a time skip option for some reason, I don't know why it's not doing that anymore. But it isn't. Um. Also, here's tomato convenience store. I do not have a duck, no. It would be in my the key items here. And we didn't start the game with the duck, and we have not uh, not gotten a duck. Uh, GPU I'm running on this on is a uh, um, an NVIDIA 2070 Super. And it's not overclocked or anything, it's just stock. It's, um, it's a gigabyte uh, version of the card. But it's running pretty close to stock clock speeds. Um, let's see, I think there's a fruit stand somewhere where we can buy more apples. Uh, dried goods, maybe you've got... Nope, can't buy from you, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, running on a 2070 Super, and the CPU is an Intel 7820X. And we're running at uh, 4 gigahertz. And the GPU is currently loaded to about 40% in this area. So whatever frame drops we're getting in game, it's probably because of CPU. Uh, okay, we can buy apples here. Excuse me. Hello, hello. Want some fruit? Keeps you young and healthy. Sure. Uh, 30. Okay. 
So it was 4, 4 plus 90. Okay, these are... These are just as efficient as the the other ones. Yeah, not too graphically heavy. I'm playing this on uh, 1080p at uh, 120, 120 hertz. Thanks. Come back soon. Um, and I don't think I'm doing any uh, um, super scaling. So we're just running at uh, very high at uh, 1080 with VSync turned on. But I think it's the dynamic um, NVIDIA uh, VSync that doesn't... Uh, drop down integer integer rates because we are getting um, the FPS data that you see here is actually from uh, Riva tuner so it actually is accurate because it, uh, it gets the frame rate data directly from the, what the GP reports oh, what's here how about this one what You've got a good eye, kiddo. This sets a new arrival. I just put it out for rental. Wow, really? You'll land so many fish, you'll forget the other rods exist. Of course, it's more expensive than the rest. So, what's your pleasure? So we haven't tried the fishing minigame yet, and now it might be a good time to do it, because we have to wait till noon anyways. Hi there! Did you come to fish? Rent your gear here if you want to fish. So you get a one-day rental. I have to rent tackle. Yep. One rental gets you one round of fishing. Keep in mind that your rental expires when you stop fishing. Now then, which one do you want? So always be fishing. Uh... Jacob's tackle. Let's just do the normal one. Ordinary fish. Sure. I'll take this one. Okay. A good choice, kiddo. You can fish anywhere with a fish symbol. Heck, looking for fishing spots is the best part. Of course. No bathroom breaks? Well, you are right next to water, so... That is easily addressed. Uh, there's a fishing spot over here, I think. Oh, first. So, the quacking in the distance, that's actually from the... The Duck Heaven. Alright. We can fish here, apparently. Okay, fishing. Cast, reel, select spot, operate rod. Show me the money. Fishing gear will be returned when you're done fishing. And also buy any fish you catch. If an event occurs during your rental period. Okay. The static background. Well, it's, it's 3D. It's definitely 3D. The mountains, I'm not so sure about, but the... The buildings there certainly are. I think it looks fine. And then the they did a good job with the uh, the sky in this game. Like that that's one thing I really I really like about this one is that they they did a great job with the environments, the the natural and the building environments. All right.
Okay. Got him. I'll pass. I'll pass. Get river fish. But did it at least cover the cost of the tackle? It was 20 bucks for... Okay, well, we lost five panda bucks. But, okay. Small price to pay for... <laughs> Wonderful! You were born to fish! Alright. I'm glad that's optional. Because as, as far as fishing minigames go, that was not amazing. But... Sure. Yeah, we need a real fishing pro like Ann to show us how it's done. Alright, I'm heading... I, I know this isn't where the... The plot thing is. That's that's actually up there. I did want to go by Duck Heaven first. So here's the, the Peking Duck Restaurant. So that's, that's Duck Hell over there. And over here is Duck Heaven. And we can actually go make some money over here. Alright, so here's Duck Heaven. So here's just a whole bunch of ducks. Look at these ducks. And look at this amazingly bad reflection on the pond. <laughs> Alright, so here's, here's Duck Jail. Hello, Mr. Wen. Come to help out again, have you? Sorry? We've got to catch the ducks they're going to prepare. I'd be forever grateful if you could help me. Uh, sure. So, what do you say? You'll do it? Sure. I'll help. Thank you kindly. I just need to catch more ducks today, right? Got a lot of fast little guys today. <laughs> it shouldn't be a problem for you, though. Shures per second off the scale in this area. So this is identical to the... the chicken catching minigame, except we gotta catch a ton of them. Man. So these, these ducks are in for a bad time. And I feel really bad about having to do this. <laughs> oh, alright. You may live, duck. You've earned your freedom. Twenty ducks for the races. Hey, good work today. Oh, you're fantastic. Just as I expected. I'm not that good. Here's your pay. Gave you a little extra today. Duck race harder to make? Well, there already are animal races in the game, Thanks. though. Do come back. You've been a huge help. There's turtle racing and frog racing, and they could have just scaled that up to duck size. <laughs> Alright, let's head to the Golden Goose and do plot stuff. So the Golden Goose is is right here. It's, it's right up there. But 
because of the incredible way this game is structured, we have to run all the way around because they put this here. If this wasn't here, we could just go right over there to where we need to go. But because they didn't think this game was long enough, they make us run all the way around. And it's like this for everything in the plot so far. The next thing in the plot is like a 10 second walk from you, but there's something in the way, so you gotta go all the way around town to get to it. And, and yeah, that's... If I had like one big complaint about this game, that would be it. Uh, and it wasn't that big of an issue in the in the first half of the game. I assume it's half. Um, in Bailu Village. They didn't really do that as much, or it wasn't as obvious, but it is really obvious in this, uh, this segment. Your swag walker. Okay. Huh. Oh, it's another smart ball place. Look at that. That's adorable. It's less so, but all right. Where are the prizes? Oh man, is this bootleg Thomas the Tank Engine? What? Oh, it's it's Chobuchan. <laughs> so there actually is a Chobuchan in nearly every uh. Every shop. And there's a lot of shops. Okay. So it was this way. And this way. Alright. Let's eat a bunch of watermelons before we presumably fight thugs here. Excuse me. Hello there. I hear the red snakes come by here. I'm not at liberty to answer questions of that nature. Ah, okay. Uh. Okay. Welcome. Do you have a VIP card? VIP card? That's right. The room up ahead is for Golden Goose VIPs only. Oh my god, uh, if this is what I think it is. Have their own room? If this is what I think it is. How do I become a member? Is this like, you need $10,000? Fill out an application and submit it to the Golden Goose. The process takes about two months in all. Two months? Isn't there some way to speed up the process? Yeah, $10,000? Well, there is. But first, you would need a referral from a VIP. Okay. Just tell me who to talk to. I'm afraid that's simply impossible. We must respect the privacy of our valued members. Of course. Okay. I... I I'm getting the feeling in my bones here that this is going to be another... Like, I'll give you my card for $10,000. Something like that. Um. So, find a VIP member. Okay. Hmm. Maybe she knows where VIPs are. Um. Greetings. Welcome to the Golden Goose, your palace of pleasure. Do you require assistance? No, thanks. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks. We do have questions. Who's the VIP member? 
Alright. Excuse me. Hello there. Oh, I didn't even see Would this guy. Would you like gang. a photograph? I shoot everything from scenery to portraits of beautiful women. Do you know anyone who's a Golden Goose VIP? A VIP? I get lots of Golden Goose customers, but I don't know who the VIPs are. Okay. Thanks anyway. VIPs are rich, aren't they? So go find some rich people. Got it. Thanks for the tip. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure uh, the people at the hotel are likely going to be uh, VIPs. There's good old Doe New. And this is uh, this is the our contact, um, the Chowan sign guy. And here's uh, Scarence Terrence of Yokosuka. There's there's our buddies, the Americans. I don't remember the guy with the hat. I remember the rest of them though. And good old Chen Fa. All right. So let's see. Yeah, I'm, I'm betting it's the uh, either that or maybe down here at the the cafe. Hey, Sandor. First time ever seen Shemu 3. Oh. <laughs> well, we're in the, the back half of the game, and it is very different from the first half. Excuse me. Hello, and welcome. Welcome to the Muren Cafe. Do you know anyone who's a Golden Goose VIP? VIPs, huh? They're like super rich people, right? I could buy so many dummies with that kind of cash. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, just talking to myself. I don't know anyone with that kind of money. Okay, thanks. Okay. Yeah, uh, Ryo's voice is the, uh, it's the same voice actor. It's Corey something. Like, sure. Uh, and Shenfa sounds completely different. And they also had got some random guy to do Gora's voice for the, the phone call thing. Um, okay. So as far as, like, obviously super rich people that I've seen around, uh, it's just, it's the people at the hotel. And that's it. Do you have a minute? Uh, what? Do you know of any Golden Goose VIPs? Hmm. What are you asking me for? Um, well... Make it quick. <laughs> I won't hear the end of it if my manager sees me goofing off. I just need an answer. Fine. I don't know any VIPs, let alone rich people. Maybe you should talk to Mr. One at the Peking Duck House. Oh. I don't know if he's a VIP or not, but he loves going there. Mr. Wen? Good to know. Thanks. Man, this... This maid has been very helpful. Um, so Peking Duck... <laughs> and of course, it's... It's way the hell back here. So now we gotta go all the way around the city again. Yeah, it... it. I don't know why they made the choice for... For that. So... So in Shenmue 2, I'm pretty sure... In 1 and 2... They didn't change the camera angle on every voice line to be... The camera right on the person. Um, in this game... Every time a character says something, they are in center frame of the camera. And in it's like slightly different camera angles. And it's it's very weird. <laughs> like I guess it was deliberate that they did like that to make it obvious who was speaking in each scene, but it's it just looks goofy as hell. And that's how they did that. All right. I'm guessing this is the. It's not her. Oh, I guess she's upstairs. Uh, 
Uh, all right. <clears throat> Rip these ducks. So this is also another weird thing is that in every single restaurant, there's just, there's food on every table. Except this one, of course, right as I say that. Including the, uh, the burger place. There's just a burger and a drink sitting on every single table, just ready to go. And it, it, <laughs> it's so weird. Like, they didn't do that in Shenmue 1 or 2. But in this, they like... Like, hey, we made these these cool food models. Might as well have them everywhere, even if it doesn't make sense. Like, uh, okay. Excuse me. Welcome to the Peking Duck House. Thank you for coming. I want to see Mr. Wen. He's up in the mountains fetching some ducks. Oh, that guy. Got it. Thank you for the tip. A bug fixing? Yeah, possibly. But I have a feeling it's more so that they um, they wanted a more dynamic conversation camera. Because they, they did that in 2, where the camera would kind of orbit a little bit around uh, the characters. Excuse me. You here for a job? Actually, I'm here for something Man, else. we were actually just here. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm looking for a VIP member of the Golden Goose. You're interested in that, eh? I'm trying to get a membership myself. It's my dream to walk into the VIP room with a lady on each arm. Two ducks and okay. each arm. Thanks. I've seen many a well-off traveler go in and out of there, and I'm jealous of every single one of them. Well-off travelers, huh? So exactly what I was thinking before. It's the, the people from the hotel. Yep. This room is absolutely filthy. Can't they move us? Okay, okay, I'll do something about it. Just calm down, all right? I want a luxury suite. A suite? Don't make me repeat myself. Clean, spacious, great view. A room fit for a queen like me. Nothing but the best for you, my lady. All right, we got to find Dragon Quest right. guy. Thanks for the tip. Could he be? All right. Hey, ducks. Okay. Visit that couple 207. Okay. So now we've got to run back to the hotel all the way on the other side of town. Surely they'll help. Surely they won't ask for ten thousand dollars. Hold on, gotta gotta pull these weeds before we move on. Important Shenmue things. Like there's there is side stuff you can be doing during all of this, but <laughs> there's only so much of that you can do. You know, because buying capsule toys gets old after pretty much immediately, if I'm honest. And same with all the other mini games. And then that brings you back to, hey, advancing the main story. And so far, the main story has been like practically MMO FedEx quests. <laughs> so, oh boy. And at least, like, in, in 2, there was at least some interesting story thing that happened on each step of the way. Now it's like... 
Okay, we need to find this. Now we need to find this, and this is related to this, and this is tangentially part of what we're looking for, and... Oh, man. I'm trying really hard to like this game, you guys. <laughs> There's still fights, though. Um, people. That couple, maybe? Like, you can go to the, the martial arts area and spar and do this, like, kind of ranked fighting. Which, hey, let's... Let's go do that right now. It won't let me leave. I'm stuck here. I'm not ready to leave again just yet. Oh my god. Game, I'm trapped in here until we advance the plot. So there are fights. That rich couple's room isn't this way. A story required fight? Um, there's the two thugs. Uh... So we had a street fight out in front of the diner, but that was it. There's been one fight in this area. Not in, it seems. I'll ask the front desk about where they went. Oh, there's also um, there's also a fight at the the martial arts area, but that was just a. Uh, here's an easy guy to to beat in like two hits. Pardon me. What do you want? Do you know where the couple in room 207 went? They didn't like their room, so they upgraded to a suite. These rich people always think they can have their way, so I made them pay extra. <laughs> Which suite? Room 203. Okay. Here. 206, 203. It's the room I was initially going to. Excuse me. Oh, it's you. Can I ask you a question? What is it? Are you a VIP member of the Golden Goose? The Golden Goose? I am. What of it? Could you give me a referral? What? I'm about to go have the time of my life with my beloved Shui Hua, and you want me to do what? Isn't that right, Shui Hua? What are you babbling on about? Huh? This is the man who returned my bag when it was snatched. The least you could do is hear him out. Yes, dear. Referral. A referral, was it? What kind of referral did you want? A referral to become a Golden Goose VIP. Coming right up. Could you wait a moment? <laughs> Take this with you, friend. Thank you very much. Okay. Sure. Am I gonna do any more Shemu showdowns? Nope. Somebody else can do that. That is too taxing on my hands, my attention, my bladder. No, thank you. Yeah, that went a little too smoothly. I'm sure something is gonna go wrong story-wise. All right, let's let's go get into a fight over here. Talk to cult leader over here. Excuse me. Have you come to train? You can practice your kung fu on a wooden dummy, or polish your techniques by sparring. You can also test your skills in a real match. What will you do? All right, real match. Wow, they actually, huh? Why didn't they let me do this in the, the first area? <laughs> do you want to have a match? This time your opponent will be Black Wolf. All right, this guy does not have face tattoos. You don't make me laugh. Oh, 
Very difficult. You're making excellent progress. You beat Black Wolf. That makes you second to one. Keep it up. All right. For second, Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Eight. Oh, geez. There's a lot more ranks in this one. That explains why the other ones are so uh, so easy. So there is, this is where the forklifting job is, by the way, but we haven't, uh, I haven't seen any way to actually do forklifting yet. All right, so now we get to run all the way across town again, back to the Golden Goose to turn in our card that we just got, and then I'm sure they'll send us back to somewhere else. music any day now. All right, this way and then left. All right, let's, let's go in here to get the music back. Go look at the lion smart ball. Oh, maybe there just isn't any music. Okay. Right at the Maid Cafe. Alright, just in case. Alright, a referral and $10,000. I got a referral. VIP cards are issued at the token exchange counter. So it'll be 10,000 tokens plus a referral. Uh, Pardon me. What can I do for you? I'd like to apply for a VIP card. Please note that it will take about two months to process. What? Two months real time. Have fun. I was told that you can get a VIP card right away if you have a referral. Do you happen to have one? Yes. Please produce it now. Here you go. Very well. That will be 300 yuan. What? All right, 300. That's reasonable. You charge a fee? I collect a 300 yuan <sighs> processing and handling fee. I was right, though. Wait, can I can I say no? If he's shaking me down, please enjoy yourself. Yep. Oh, all right. I want to get a look, a look at that uh, the referral if we still have it. Which yeah, here it is. Okay. I would like to refer the person mentioned above as a new VIP member. All right. Sure. Okay, well, it's it's a lot less than two thousand. Excuse so. me. Sure. Are you in need of oh, tokens? I don't need tokens. Maybe next time. I see. Pardon me. What can I do for you? I'd like to apply for a VIP card. Do you happen to have one? Yes. Please produce it now. Here you go. Very well. That will be 300 yuan. All right, then. I'll pay. I shall now issue your card. Be sure to bring it with you whenever you come. 
So this is like paying Cool Z five hundred dollars, except it's it's way dumber. Like, I'll need to see your VIP card, sir. Ah, uh, my card. Ah, would you like this leaf? Excuse me, sir. I'll need to see your <laughs> VIP card. Sir? That is a leaf? I'll need to see your VIP card, sir. Ah, uh, my card. Why do they give you the option? Like, usually they... They don't... Okay. I'm a VIP member. Many thanks, sir. Enjoy yourself. Is did my health go down a lot? Oh no, that's that's just the um the normal stamina drain. With the incredible stamina system that they added into three. That is not at all a huge step down from, from two. So this is the darts music. <laughs> All right. I was drinking at the bustling diner when this Japanese guy wanted to fight me with karate. Wow, that's crazy! And then, and then? That karate punk broke a glass and tried to attack Big Bro with it, but... But? But? Big Bro dodged it by a hair and countered him. That karate wimp ran away with his tail between his legs. We went after him, but I gotta say, he was a master at running away. <laughs> I guess that's the one thing karate practitioners are good at. <laughs> Isn't that right, bro? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Amazing! You're so strong! <laughs> hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Happy What's your problem? Uh, bro, it's him again! How dare you! I won't let you off easy this time! Oh, alright. There's four of them here. targeting system. Mason from Bailu. Oh, that old man. We brought him to our 
office. Office? Where is it? Oh, I'll talk. It's on the Just other side of go. town. Where do I find this office? You gotta go around Hotel Niawu. Yep, oh, it is. It's on the other side of town. Hey, I knew it. Can't draw anything until you let me go. Oh my oh, god. Let go of me. Yeah, this is unreal. I knew it. I could have guessed that uh, it was by the hotel, because that is very far away from here, and of course, it wouldn't be near here. <sighs> and that's why, at the end of the game, you eventually have to go to space. We better hurry. Because oh the quest locations have to progressively get further and further away from where you are. So naturally, you're going to have to go to space at some point. All right, I got to... Uh, okay, so... I need to go to an herb shop and sell some herbs. And then I got to buy another uh, battle heal. So there's an herb shop. So there's a pharmacy over here. There we go. Tough guy herbs. So we can make some money here. And they have... This is the... I'm pretty sure that's the in-game heal drink, but we can't just take one. We've got a nice selection. And just so you know, we also buy medicinal herbs. So that's, um, that fight in the, uh... Oh, this is by so. We protect the privacy of all of our customers. <laughs> That's uh that fight I actually enjoyed. That was that was a we got a nice selection. A fun fight. And just so you know, we also buy medicinal herbs. If you have a set of herbs on you, we'll take them off your hands. It doesn't make up for all the boring stuff leading up to it, but that was a nice sequence. All right, three hundred. Okay, we can sell six hundred here. Uh, and here's another 600. One, one, a bunch of ones. This one uses less materials. We'll sell that one. And then 300 for this one. And the rest we'll just we'll keep. Okay. Oh, now these will make some potent medicine. If you come across... All right, now we need to buy We've got a nice selection. Heal. And just so you know, we also buy medicinal herbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Snake power. Sell price. Sell price nine? For plus 300. So that's more effective than watermelons. So price for HP, seven fifty for twenty nine, thirty one, thirty three for nine hundred. Black garlic, yeah, it, it's still more efficient for uh, for watermelons. Okay, so two might as well get three of these actually because we can afford it. Okay. It's all highly effective. All right, so where are we going now? Red Snake's hideout. Uh, so, oh yeah, it's that locked door next to the. Uh, oh no, it's it's the the grassy area by the uh, the martial arts building. That is it. Okay. I think we're forced back to the hotel at um, at 9 p.m. So we may or may not make it there in time. And again, for whatever reason, in this area of the game, they don't give you the the fast travel option. They gave it to you all the time in uh, in Bailu Village, but but here they want you walking for whatever reason.
horrifying jar spiders. Uh, there were in the village. Um, not here, though. They had, uh, they had snakes, it looked like, in, uh, some sort of yellow liquid. <laughs> Alright. Apparently it's not here. Okay, so it must be that gate. It's over here. Or not. Alright, what about this? Is it this? Okay, so now we can open this door. And now it's about to be 9 o'clock, and he's going to say we need to go back to... It's getting late. This can wait until tomorrow. But our journal says we need to hurry to their hideout. I... <sighs> hurry to the Red Snake's hideout. I... <laughs> Don't even want to talk to Shenfa about it. Uh, this way? Nope. One day I will turn the right direction. <laughs> yeah, they can they can wait to be rescued, though. I'm sure they'll be fine. Before we do that, I'm going to step away for two minutes here before we continue on. So I will be back in a couple minutes. Stay tuned.
All right. Back at it. So as far as how long I plan to stream tonight, um, I'm probably going to go at least another, let's say, two or three. Probably at most four. So we're, we're still got uh, quite a bit left here. In case you're one worrying this is going to be a short stream. Unless there's only like an hour left in the game. In which case, <laughs> I can't do much about that. All right. Gotta pay for hey. the room. Uh. And Shenhua's gotta wish us a good day. Hey, Shenhua. Good morning. Morning. Are you well? Yeah. I'm totally fine. I'm totally fine. I should be asking you that. How's the city treating you? I'm getting used to all of the people. <laughs> it's okay. It's the same. Yeah. Good. I'll head out then. Yeah, good. Okay. Be careful. It's the same conversation every morning. Uh. Okay. Let's do it this way, I think. All right. Time for the thrilling conclusion of what's behind this door. Apparently there's something over here besides this. I thought there was supposed to be something over here. <laughs> uh, besides plants. I might be in the wrong area. Huh. I thought it was this, but... Well, this, this is good. At least. Huh. So we couldn't... I'm pretty sure we couldn't open that door earlier. Hmm. So it must be... What was up there? Ah, here it is. I just... I ran past it, apparently. Yep. Mm, yep. This is why... Okay. All right. Time for action. Or another fetch quest. Sure. There's something on top of here. Just, just photos of sunflowers. <laughs> okay. Oh man, waitress fight club at Club Moku Moku. Detective Rio's on the case. Virtua Fighter Graffiti. <laughs> Virtua Fighter Graffiti. <laughs> All right, gotta be prepared for QTEs. All 
I too like to put brands and trademarks in my graffitis. Boss, this is him. The Japanese guy who got in our way. You've got some guts to barge in here on your own. Where's Yuen? Yuen? That half croak geezer or that hard ass grandpa? <laughs> so funny. Show me a good time, will ya? I have a feeling this is a fight you're supposed to lose. I wasn't paying attention to my health there. Alright, so just like Bailu Village, we're probably gonna have to seek out a martial arts master. Ugh. This is... This is exactly like... Oh my god. This is exactly like the first half of the game. <laughs> yeah, I, I was just... I didn't use the last soda. What happened? The heal drink. I went to the Red Snake's hideout. Because I thought I had more health than I did. I heard Mr. Yen was there, so... My father? But I didn't see him anywhere. I have to defeat their leader. No matter what it takes. Are you... Uh, uh, Leo? No, you have, to, you have to hit a button on the D-pad to use it. This is nothing. It is an automatic. Fine. It's just, it's hit any button on the D-pad, though. I could have had him, too. Like, I had him down to, like, a third health, I think. 
Yeah. So I have a feeling, like, as, like, a speedrun strat or something, like, maybe if you, you beat those fights first try, you can skip a bunch of crap. Or maybe you're supposed to lose those fights to, as a story thing, I don't know. Like, even if you get him down to one health or something, maybe it still goes to that cutscene of him doing the, the special move stuff on you. Because it was like that in the, the first half of the game, too. But I don't know. Yep, so now now we need to go get two thousand dollars to to get some special liquor. You must have figured out where those red snakes are hiding. Look at you. Finally proving useful. You might want to brush up on your fighting skills a bit though. Still, you did good, man. I don't want to hear it. Leave the rest to me. I feel like I've finally gotten my bearings. Give me a call when you head for the hideout. I'll be waiting up on the second floor of the ferry terminal. Don't forget, I'm serious, man. Got it. All right. Maybe they, uh, maybe they're hiring for the, the forklifts now. Oh, that's a tour guide guy. It was Rift Tambourine. Uh, hi. Hey, kid. Want to put all that muscle to good use? All right. You hiring? Huh? You want to work, don't you? We're always looking for part-timers to help move stuff around. I'm not interested. I, I am interested. Then get out of here already. I am very interested. I don't know about other jobs, but at least here you're out in the sun. It's forklift time. Right. Uh, hi. You're broke, right? The pay's... I'm not in... What the hell? A... Uh... Alright, maybe you can... Uh... Hi. Hey, kid. This is a restricted area. Um, well... No fun shops around here, kid. Come help us move some of this stuff around if you're free. We'll pay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Well, maybe we can do this after, uh... Whatever the next plot thing is. Alright, Ren. Let's do it. Oh, I don't know if anybody if anybody missed this before, but this is this is Doolin's brother. This is the left, left, left. Don't drop it. The the guy at the docks in Shenmue too. Pardon me. Wait, we can work what with him. Need? We can work. I can get you taken care of in exchange for work. Taken care of. I wasn't trying to. Oh wait, you're the guy who helped Doolin carry stuff back in Wan Chai. Well, yeah. You do look strong now that I look at you. Uh, okay. Bet I could still take you, though. I see. I see. Want to find out? Not really. Wait. So this is... What is this? Is this arm wrestling or something? Me. Uh, finally! I'm here for the job. What do I do? My forklift operator got some kind of stomach bug. Yes! I can't move this all by myself. I'll pay you so. And all I have to do is move this stuff, right? Then you'll help? Please! Hmm. Hmm. Forklift, boys. All right. Insert fork here. There is a limit. Map. There is a map button. Okay, forklift up and down. The controls are are different. Okay. There is no honk button. Sure. Oh great! I could really use the help. Let's get started then. Oh, my TV is trying to update its OS right now. Don't do that, TV. To the ship. Using the forklift. <laughs> <laughs> Here. 
Here's the map. I'm counting on you. Hmm. Yep. Now the real Shenmue begins. Taking this? Is it there? Okay. Wouldn't you normally uh, reverse or something like this? They felt the need to put cones everywhere. So there's no, there's no horn honking. What the hell? automatically does that sure can we drive it off the pier all right well we'll see after this all right we're gonna deliver this and then we're going off the pier what why is it why did it do that All right, you ready? Nope. All right, what about this? Nope. Okay. Lame. Maybe you have to do it with like the the cargo. All right. So what happens if I like run into? Nope. So there's. So the timer isn't like going down extra if I run into stuff. It's just. Ah, uh, uh, Shenmue. Yep. This is... They could have done so much more. The story of Shenmue 3. I'm most disappointed that there's no no horn honking. I, that was at least half of the fun of forklifting in one. I was getting to honk the horn. I also don't understand why I have to take this really out of the way route to get there. Like, it would be much faster if I could just go in front of the, the pier building. <laughs> why... Why specifically this way? I can't remember if this was a... Uh, this might have actually been one of the... Um, the Kickstarter incentives, by the way. Like, hey, if we reach four million dollars, we'll put in forklifts, I think. I can't remember, because it's been like four years, but... 
I think this is one of the Kickstarter incentives. <laughs> uh. I see. They could say that there's like an oil spill or something in front of that building. And that's why. Like. Have some reason. You know? And also, why does this do this? Like. It, it does that automatically. And I think for no other reason than to, uh, to make this take longer. I can try. Yeah, the frame rate is much worse in this uh, this part of the game, probably because the the geometry is a lot more complicated. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna try moving this other crate on top of the vase. Yep, doesn't let you. I know, right? It's like specifically no fun. Yu Suzuki disapproves of fun in this. It's supposed to be tedious according to his design documents. Alright. Got that last one in there. Right at the buzzer. That's enough for today. That I earned more catching ducks. And catching ducks Great took like job, buddy. two minutes. This port is crazy, but you still met the quota. I'm gonna have to give you a little extra for this. Got it. Thanks. Come on back, you hear? Okay. I'll see you later. All right. That was very exciting. Yeah, that's true. You don't unlock video games catching ducks. But I'm pretty sure catching ducks was a lot more fun than the game and the forklifting combined. Hey, Ren. What? Oh, it's you. Save scum with gambling? Yeah, I did. Let's head to the Red Snake's hideout. I did that in the right the first half. Do it. Hey. Hey, you punks! Show yourselves! I'll be fighting you this time! I'm not like the weakling you fought before! Hey. Who the hell is this? Huh? Shut your <laughs> Stop cowering and get him! You schmucks! <laughs> mm, so we have Ren to help us this time? Have a taste of this. 
This is this is just a mess. Almost had health already, though. These guys are nothing. <laughs> yeah, it was harder with Ren. Maybe you've lost your touch or something, uh, huh? Hey. Huh? <laughs> Whoa. of great help here. HP to do this properly. Yep. Dang it. Uh. If I had one healing thing, I could have done that. And I had one extra in my inventory. Because I didn't use it in the last fight. There's no way we can take this gorilla. Uh, damn it. Let's get out of here. Wowza. That was a close one. Wowza. Leon. Shenhua. Hoo-wee. Who would have thought you hooked up with a girl? Leon, who is he? Oh, this is Ren. So, you've already told her stories about me, huh? But that doesn't mean you can leave me in the dark. Where did you meet a girl like this? Hmm? What's the matter, Ren? Uh, never mind. It's none of my business. I'll see you around. Seriously, that guy. Maybe we should turn in for the night. Sure. Sweet dreams, Ryo. Good night. All right, I'm going to check my inventory. Because, huh, yeah, it's, I don't have one. I, I had one left over from the last time I fought the guy. And now it's just suddenly. Hey, you. Yes. You need to pay for your room tonight. What, I do? Don't tell me you don't. No. What? You pay in the morning. Uh, not... Thank you. 
Oh, ah. Huh? All right. Did I? I guess I did. I guess I did. You're right. Okay, I gotta buy some more then. Wait, are there free apples here? All right, we gotta get our free apples. Looks good. Guess I'll take it. But yeah, I'm I'm not sure if those are fights that can even be won. Or if it's required that you lose them, or if you lose them in a cutscene. Like, because the the fights that you were supposed to not win in Shenmue 2, let's say, um, they would just fade to black at some point. Or your health would never drop below like one one bubble. Um So I don't know. I don't know why they did that in this. Punches and kicks didn't work at all. It's like we were fighting an actual bear. Well, come on, tight lips, think of something. Everybody's got a weakness. I'm sure of it. What is his style? Yeah, he had a weird-looking stance. I've never seen it before. He even used some moves that resembled animals. If we figure out his style, we might be able to find a way to beat him. You know any martial arts experts? <sighs> An expert. This is literally what we did in the first half of the I game. To Mr. Sure. They... They fucking copy pasted the. <laughs> I, I guess I'm not surprised, but I'm just disappointed. Like, this is this is literally what we did already in the the first half of the game. We got our ass kicked by a thug, and then we had to seek out a martial arts master to to beat him, figure out how to beat him, and this is where the um. The we had to get two thousand dollars in order for the guy to teach us the move, and if it makes us do that in this, then it's gonna be like ten thousand or something. Holy shit! All right, Mister Mister Sure is uh, back at the uh, something hall over by the uh, the temple. Oh my god. Okay, so that was this way. I need to get more... Okay, well, the... The... The herb shop is this way anyway, so this works out. But, man. Man, oh man. Well, this... The, the formula has been switched up, though. Like... It was not this... This copy-paste. In, uh in the first two games. You're always at least doing something different in the first two games. In this it is it's identical. We've got a nice selection. The the and place just so you know, we also buy medicinal The herbs. place and the people have changed, but the general arc of it has not changed at all between the first half of the game and this. All right. Let's leave just enough for for the inevitable money we're going to need to Pay for highly effective whatever thing we need later actually can I sell any herbs and if you have okay 29 do we have any big ticket items 50 225 275 all right let's let's do that all right oh now these will make if you come all right let's go talk to mr sure
Okay. Mr. Sure. Oh. Hey there. Let's have a round. We can talk after that. How late did I go until uh, the stream was about 10 hours long so until about 4 a.m. my time the stream tonight has so far been about three hours 45 minutes And my opinion of Shenmue 3 has degraded the more I play of it. you about a kung fu style sure what's up it uses a peculiar stance that's so the guy kept his head low and his arms raised behind him do you know what this style is called no idea there were animal movements mixed in oh then that's easy if it was a monkey that's monkey fist a crane is white crane a tiger is tiger fist <sighs> Snake? That's snake style. And giraffe? That's giraffe style. Yeah, okay, I got it. Mr. Shu, do you know any experts in martial arts? I do. My kung fu master. Your master? Yep. Would you tell me who that is? Red Master Patience. You can find him at the harbor. Back Thank at the harbor. So Surprise. Follow me again. Sure thing. So, the reasons why my opinion of this game have degraded. So, the arc of the first half of this game, I'm assuming it's a half, was you get to Baili Village, you find out that uh, Chenfa's father is missing, you find out that thugs have taken him, you fight the thugs, you lose. You have to seek out a martial arts master. And then with their help and some training, you're able to defeat the thugs and then move on. And that and that brought you to this town. So far in this town, we've arrived in the town to find somebody who's been kidnapped. We found the thugs that kidnapped them. And we've lost to the thugs and are now seeking out a martial arts master. <laughs> Sound familiar? <laughs> So there's that. And then notice here that uh, we went all the way to the hall where that guy was. And he says, oh, the guy, uh, my master that you should talk to, he's down at the harbor. So every single new plot thing that we've come across is always on the exact opposite side of the town. Like as far away as it can get. So in between each plot thing, we're just running back and forth all the way across the city um, and there are like shortcuts built into this but like the doors are closed like, is this like a backer reward or something that you need to unlock to open the doors so that you don't have to spend five minutes every time running across a town because that's the way it's been for every single step of all of these quests um, alright 
head to the fishing wharf. Wait, is this a fishing wharf? Or this is the... Because there's a fishing... There's a fishing spot by, uh... Um... Maybe it's this. There was that, uh, the cormorant fisher guy. Maybe that's who he means. And yeah, I, I bet it's this. If this is probably closed off before. Alright, let's eat a bunch of watermelons before we advance. Grandmaster Bay. Why do you call me Grandmaster? I heard you taught Sure Kung Fu. You know Sure? Sure. I do. <laughs> what do you want? I'd like to ask you about a Kung Fu style. A style? It uses a particular stance. Go on. He kept his head low and his arms raised behind him. Do you know what this style is called? Why do you seek this information? A friend was kidnapped by the Red Snakes. The Red Snakes, you say? I want to know the style their leader uses. If I knew his style, I could potentially find a weakness. So you wish to fight for the sake of this friend of yours? I'm sure you, of all people, understand that martial arts cannot be learned overnight. You must really have your back against the wall. If you know, please tell me. Even if there was a technique, you must possess the basics to be able to use it. Then test me, please. I suppose a friendly spar would help to pass the time. jumps, so shall the water jump. It is just the law of nature. It is unreasonable to fight it. Be a tree in the wind. Go with the flow. A long time ago, martial arts were bad. But humans are interesting creatures. They practiced in secret, away from prying eyes, and became stronger. One even practiced atop this very boat. Nam Tren survived the ban and was passed on in this way. Smell my feet pose. Your kung fu is lacking. Excuse me, Grandmaster. Train more in kung fu before you come back. I'll spar with you anytime you like. Thank you, Grandmaster. Hmm. And then it. Okay. So one of the things that we had to do in the first half of the game was we had to beat hey, uh, what is it, yo? all the other ones. Do you remember the cormorant fisherman at the dock? A fisherman? Oh yes, we saw him when we arrived in Niawu. It turns out he's a martial arts master. A master? That's impressive. I know. So, is he going to help us? Well, we sparred. But he said my kung fu wasn't good enough to teach me anything. I see. So, what do we do now? I've got to get better at kung fu. It's the only way. Leo, I'm going to go back to the room. Okay. 
All right, so because when we woke up, we immediately went to the Ren cutscene, so that's why we didn't pay um, last night, and also tonight we're going to have to pay. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay, pay, pay. Uh. Okay. So I have a feeling, in order to be judged worthy enough, we're probably going to have to become 8th Dwan or whatever it is. We're going to have to become Dwayne the Rock Johnson over at the, the Kung Fu place. I'm guessing that's probably what the guy wants. Oh, I didn't get my free apples. Dang it. Yeah, you can actually, um, you can talk to Shenfa after pretty much every single story thing if you want to and talk to her about it, but I just never did for most of the game. So she actually is part of, like, everything, but I've had enough of Shenfa from all of the Shenmue 2 speedruns. <laughs> so the less of her, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Alright, back to Ren. That cormorant fisherman is a grandmaster? Huh, I guess you really can't judge a book by its cover. So, did you find out what style that monster uses? He... didn't tell me. Does that fisherman even know? I'm not sure. I sparred with the grandmaster, and he said my kung fu was lacking. That it'd do me no good to know. You idiot. You can still win even if you don't have enough kung fu. Really? Hold on. Hey, is there anywhere you can learn kung fu? At some school or dojo, I suppose. Oh, there might be a martial arts expert there. Well, go look for a place that teaches kung fu. Good idea. Just like the first half of the game. Yeah, we gotta go talk to Colt guy. Uh And it was at Marshall Hall in, in Bailu Village is where we did that. Like copy paste game design. Oh boy. Excuse me. Are you here to train? Actually, I have a question. Oh, and what might that be? It's about Kung Fu. Ah, then you've come to the right person. I had a run in with a martial artist that uses an unorthodox style. Unorthodox? Yeah, there were animal movements mixed in. Animal movements. Hmm. Yeah, I was wondering if you could identify it. This martial artist, do you know who he is or where he's from? Oh, um, he's the Red Snakes big guy. Red Snakes? I heard that a young man's been waging war on them. That's not you, is it? I don't know about war, but yeah. How reckless. One man alone cannot stand up to an entire gang. I know, but... It's best not to get involved. I see. Hi there. I have nothing more to say. My advice to you is to focus on your training. Yes. I understand. Okay. We're actually pretty close to leveling our Kung Fu, uh, our endurance, so we'll get another Kung Fu rank. Looks like a chance to do rooster steps. If we do some rooster Maybe steps, I'll give it a shot. Sure. And we get to listen to that the whole time.
very exciting. So what does our journal say now? Didn't learn anything here. Look for another place. So there was the... Um, uh, the wooden dummy cafe? That place had some sparring equipment. So that was this way. There's also a bunch of martial arts stores around here. Maybe one of those places can tell us uh, how to solve our kung fu problem. The, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Moku Moku Club. It's, or the place above it. We just got to run there first. In about five minutes, we'll get there. Uh, and it was this way. All right, let's do some first person running. So over here, they have kung fu, kung fu and kung fu accessories. But can't talk to that guy. All right, what about this guy? Excuse me. Hello and welcome. Welcome to the Muren Cafe. Do you know anyone well versed in kung fu? What for? I need to ask about styles with animalistic movements. Animal styles? Sorry, that's not my thing. I know more about non chuan and practice dummies. Would any of your customers know more? I'm really not sure. Sorry I couldn't be of more help. That's no problem. Want to at least practice some kung fu now that you're here? Practicing your horse stance is free. Horse stance, huh? Mr. Uh -huh. Bay did say I'm not good enough at Kung Fu. Maybe I should give it a shot. Well, it just forces you into... Alright. Okay, so if this is no good, then the next step is... Um, going back to Mr. Sure. Over at... Uh, the hall by the temple. Because perhaps... Perhaps he's... Uh, either got training tips for us or he can point us in the right direction. Well, I'm assuming he's using the, uh, there's this this line on the the training thing there. He's using that to line up his squat. Because when they did the training section with the old man in the first half of the game, um, he held out a stick for lining it up. So I assume that's that's what they need to practice horse dance. Martial artists gather. Something I can help you with? Do you know where martial artists usually hang out around here? Probably over at yep. Liu Ha Hall. All right. Well, a lot of people go to train under the instructors there. That's where I was going next. Liu Ha Hall. Is this still blocked? This isn't blocked off anymore. Okay. Oh man, that's great. 
And that gate's open up there. Holy shit. Finally. Okay. They finally opened the shortcuts. It just took this long into the game to do it. So Luhe Hall is, is over here. <laughs> oh my god. Finally. Thank you, Yu Suzuki. We don't have to walk around the entire map just to get there. Mr. Sher. Well, look who it is. <clears throat> Did you find Grandmaster Bay? Yeah, but he said I don't know enough Kung Fu, which is true. I don't know anything about it. Ah, I see. We know the Wu do. I figured someone around here might know about Kung Fu. Well, as you can probably tell, I'm your only hope. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. I guess so. Hey, don't sound so disappointed. Come on, let's have a little sparring match. The solution to everything is sparring. Uh, all right. We have mastered everything that we have equipped. your kung fu don't you sure well you can get into a horse stance over there horse stance oh my god maybe i will yeah i'll give it a shot really uh <laughs> horse stance again oh my god Horse stance is not going to solve our problems. Or this game's problems. <clears throat> no, it's against Kung Fu La to do horse stance anywhere else but in front of one of these things. I can put you in Kung Fu Jail otherwise. any other martial arts experts around here. What's troubling you? Do you know where martial artists usually hang out around here? 
I've popped into the Muren Cafe once or twice. I've been there already. I already went there, actually. Okay. You did? Guess you like it too, eh? Yes, but do you know any others? Oh, yeah. How could I forget? You know some? I keep hearing about this spot where you can bet on fights. Bet on fights? You looking for a street fight? Yeah. Bet on fights, huh? Where is this place? Hmm. I don't know, actually. I see. <laughs> well, that was promising for a little bit, and now we're back to... All right, maybe Hit Me Lady knows where the, the street fights are. Excuse me. Hit me. <laughs> where do the martial artists here like to gather? You can practice here. Well, <laughs> Lady, I just came from there. Thanks for the tip. Thanks, yeah, thanks for the tip, Lady. Real helpful. Uh, places where street fights. Where haven't we been? Maybe there's uh, so back where the thugs were. Maybe there's a uh. Maybe the, the street fights are held back over there, perhaps? Um. Hmm. <laughs> oh, maybe Shenfa knows. Wait, she waves at you? Hi, Shenhua. Hi, Liu. All right, good talk. Shenhua? What is it, Liu? Is there somewhere in town where martial artists get together? Um, sorry, I haven't seen any. Then I'll keep looking. Would their gathering place be a clue of some sort? <laughs> I, maybe that's why I'm asking, Shenhua. I'm looking for some martial arts experts. If I can work out what style the Red Snake's boss uses, I might be able to counter it somehow. You're right. Okay, I'll help you look. Sounds good. All right. Uh, by help me look, she's probably going to walk over there and stand next to the herb shop. Yep. Well, thanks, Shenfa. All right, so my first guess is, yeah, probably up by the... Where I fought the thugs. Um, I also suspect that once I run up that little staircase over there, it's probably going to do the same thing as before in Bailu Village, where Rio's going to turn around and go, "I can't, I can't do anything here." Uh, or I don't have enough kung fu to beat these guys. So this is this is an area that we haven't had access to, I don't think. So it looks like all the little roadblocks are finally gone in town, so now we can easily move around. Okay. Yeah, the short break. Okay, so this is by uh yeah, this is overlooking here. So maybe we don't have to go through here anymore. <laughs> How about this cool new gun... Kung Fu technique of just getting a gun. Or using a knife. Because uh, Yu Suzuki... Uh, in like... He did like a talk, I think. Um, a few months after the Kickstarter of Shenmue 3. And he was talking about like... Oh man, you're going to be riding horses and... You're going to be using swords in, in your fights, and and there ain't none of that in this, from what I can tell. Uh, okay, so that's where we need to get to. Oh, this is on, uh, this is through that door. If only we could hop this fence, this would be much quicker. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, Shenmue takes place in the Equilibrium universe. So we're going to work on our gun kata. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. A gun kata. Japanese Peter Molyneux? Japanese Peter Molyneux is probably uh, um, the Katamari guy. Keita Takahashi. And I think he's actually got another game coming out pretty soon. It's uh, called Watam, I think. I'm not sure what you even do in that game, but it looks, it looks whimsical, which... Hey, there, there's room for all kinds of games. And it looks neat. Like, Nobi Nobi Boy was a similar game to that. I haven't played that. I've seen footage of Nobi Nobi Boy, and it looks ridiculous. And uh, I think the the Watam is uh, probably in a similar, similar vein. So if I were having secret fights, like, uh, the warehouse there would probably be a place where, where they would be... Uh, hi. Hey, kid. Want to put all that muscle to good use? In street fights? Huh? Huh? You want to work, don't you? We're always looking for part-timers to help move stuff around. I'm not interested. Then get out of here already. I don't know about other jobs, but at least here you're out in the sun. Right. Uh, hi. Hey, kid! Same this dialogue. Is a restricted this. area. Um, well. No fun shops around here, kid. Come help us move some of this stuff around if you're free. We'll pay. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I've heard lots of crazy things about the Yakuza games. So, uh, I'll mention here that uh, my hands are actually aching a bit from, um, <laughs> from playing this game on controller. So whenever we do finish the Shenmue uh, 3 playthrough, um, I think I might uh, just keep going with King's Quest for... Uh... Just yet. Yeah, okay, so this is... I still have to get myself ready to take him down. Yeah, this is what I thought would happen. So I'll hold off on... Uh, on JoJo's... Uh, JoJo and Kodelka for another couple streams or so. To, uh, to let my hands heal. So. King's Quest will probably be on the cards for whenever we uh, we beat this one. And I don't think I'm going to do a second playthrough immediately for this one. I probably still will at some point in the future. But not immediately. <laughs> uh, I, I think we did unlock a new, a new game. And I'm probably going to be heading back that way anyways. Over here. Actually, does this go to the that shrine? It does. Okay. Interesting. I'm gonna go ask the the shrine maiden. Yeah, King's Quest Three is. Uh, I bet that death count for King's Quest Three is gonna be triple digits, probably. Because <laughs> yeah, I luckily I do have the manual and all the all the the documents ready for King's Quest 3. But my soul is probably not prepared for King's Quest 3. You got a minute? What can I do for you, Ryo? Do you know where all the martial artists go to train? Martial artists? Hmm. If you don't know, that's okay. I'll see you around. Oh, wait, wait! I remember! Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? There's a place called Wu Shan Hall, near the hotel toward the harbor. I've been there. Wu Shan Hall, near the hotel, huh? Yes, that hall houses the god of martial arts. I've heard martial artists who want to become stronger make pilgrimages there. That's interesting. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Ryo doesn't have the heart to tell her that we've been there many times. Yeah, I'm actually gonna try uh, try going to Duck Heaven and see if that guy knows. And even if he doesn't, we're gonna go make some money. 
But yeah, I, uh, I didn't really feel it in my hands uh, in the last stream, which I guess was yesterday, uh, until around the nine hour mark. So I did actually last quite a while, but um, excuse me, I'm feeling it a little bit. You here for a job? Actually, I'm here for something else. Where do the martial artists here like to gather? Go visit Heaven's Fist, right across from here. Ah, okay. Okay. That's a new one. Thanks. Heaven's Fist. And uh, I'll spare the ducks. Man, I'm so glad that there's shortcuts now. All right. Excuse me. Looking for something? <laughs> Where do the martial artists here like to gather? You have good timing. Allow me to introduce you to the Muren Cafe. They have a rear entrance now, so you don't have to go around to the front. Okay. Thanks. Any other places that they gather? Uh, hi. Looking for something? I'm still trying to find that cafe you mentioned. Uh, oh, that, oh, there's a I, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Uh, we've been there already, game. So our, our current, like, unsolved lead is, uh, is street fights. Excuse me. Looking for a quick hit? Welcome to the newest hotspot in Yawu, the Muren Cafe. Do you know where martial artists go to practice? Martial artists, huh? Uh, are you talking about... You know about them? This is just a rumor, but... Uh-huh. I hear they have street fights somewhere in town. Yeah? They put on street fights? Yeah. Seems to be where all the tough guys and gangsters hang out. I don't know exactly where, though. That might be the VIP... Okay. Thanks. That might be the VIP area of the, the Golden Goose. Over here. That m just might be down here. And running low on watermelons here. <laughs> I'll need to see your VIP card, sir. Ah, uh, my card. Members only, the Golden Goose. Name. I'm assuming that's his name on there. I can't read any of the other text on there. I can't zoom it in either. Sure. I'm a VIP member. Many thanks, sir. Enjoy yourself. Okay. Excuse me. Hey, aren't you that wild boy from before? Um, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> There's nothing to worry about. We made sure those guys will pay for all the broken furniture. Oh. It feels nice. They stayed too long, they were boring, and in the end, they all tried to have their way. They were the worst kind of customer. Ah, uh, okay then. Oh, I have a special bonus for you today. <laughs> Sit down, have a drink. I'll pass. Thank you. Yep. All right. Excuse me. You're that super strong guy from before. Huh? Aw. I meow. What do they call you, cutie? Hazuki. Ryo Hazuki. You won't mind if I call you Ryo, then? Huh? Sure, I don't mind. Yay! Let's be best friends, okay, Ryo? <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> hey there. Oh, it's Ryo! Sit down and have a 
have a chat with me. Just, just tell me where the street fights are, lady. Sorry, but I don't have the time to chat right now. Huh? You don't want to talk? I have a question for you. Do you know where the martial artists hang out? Huh? But you're here, yo. Um, that's not what I... But you should just bring your friends here. Then you'd be hanging out. <laughs> What? All right, this um, this one's a lost cause. <laughs> see you again. Uh, all right. Maybe Elena knows. Excuse me. She's slightly more coherent. I was waiting. Have a seat. What'll it be? Actually, I. You mean you didn't come to play with me? I was hoping for some information. Do you know where martial artists usually hang out? Martial artists. They don't come here much. That's too bad. After all, those types tend to be a little low on cash. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway, enough of that. Sit down and have a drink already. I'd rather not. All right. Is the frame rate uh, kind of tank here? Oh, yeah. 49... Sure. Can we walk through walk through this? Nope. No physics on these. Thanks, Unreal Engine. Alright, well the, the secret fights clearly aren't here. <laughs> well that's a bust. Alright. Uh This guy helped us out before. It's the joy theme. Hey, you got your bag back. Hey, come and take a look at our hottest instruments. We have all the latest models. Where do the martial artists here like to gather? I take lessons at the Mu Ren Cafe. I'm just a beginner, though. Know any places besides the Muran Cafe? Other places? They hold street fights now and then. Oh, I see. You know about them? I wouldn't get involved if I were you. Yeah? I don't know if it's true or not, but I heard they fight to the death. Fight? To the death? I think it's best if you stay away from all that. Hmm. I see. What? Come on, man. Can you help me? This guy clearly knows. Is there a place where martial artists go to practice? I take less. Ren? Yeah. I understand. Oh, hold on. He said something about street fights. Uh, I'm trying to. F I take less. Getting involved in street fights is a great way to end up dead. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so maybe the people at Marin Cafe. All right, here's Ren. Maybe Ren knows. Um... Greetings. That's not Ren. Welcome to the Golden Goose, your palace of pleasure. Do you require assistance? Yes, street fights. No, thanks. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Though be advised, there are some questions we cannot answer. We hope you understand. Sure. Actually, we've heard that one before, so that's... That's a false sure alarm. Ren. Yo! Nice work, man. Hey. Huh. <laughs> Later. Thanks, Ren. You're a great help, Ren. Alright, so maybe back to the cafe, and now that we have the, the street fights keyword. Excuse me. So he's probably going to say, hey. Hello. And welcome. Do some more horse dance. Welcome to the Muren Cafe. I'm trying to find where all the martial artists meet. Martial artists? Have you gone to any street fights? No, not yet. Yeah, I hear that's where all the tough guys and gangsters hang out. There could be some martial artists there. I'll keep that in mind. 
Uh, Looking for a welcome to the. I'm trying to find. I hear they have street fights somewhere in town. I don't know. Thanks. Doesn't know exactly. Okay, maybe down in the cafe they know. Down in Moku Moku, with these incredible. <laughs> oh man. Excuse me. Hi there. Hey, what do you think of this cafe? What do you mean? It's a little weird. The manager is always going on about wooden dummies. Every day it's dummy this, dummy that. It's bad enough that I wonder if there's anything else going on in that uh, head of his. We've already heard this dialogue, but we can't really? skip it. Just a while ago, he spent the whole day thinking up a name for uh... his new dummy. It's fine to like dummies, but I wish he'd put some effort into the cafe, too. I see. Hey. Hello, come on in. Ready to order? I'm already in. We are all the way in. I'm fine. The cafe. I'm sure it's hard to relax with all these dummies around, but you could always sit down for a cup of tea. Thanks. All right. Feel free to beat up the dummies. Go on a rampage if you want. Okay, got it. All right. Clearly these two are of no help because they're just stuck in this cafe with the dummies all day, so... You can't really expect them to be knowledgeable of what goes on out here. Uh... Okay. So, let's see. If I were gonna have illegal street fights... I would have them, um, like, over here. <laughs> Probably. Yep, the bong arcade. Tobacco use only. Uh, and we already tried... We already went to Duck Heaven. There's nothing there. Where does this even go? I hear something. There's something off to the left. Hmm. Okay, this is just great. And also, now that I'm thinking about these street fights, if it's anything like Shenmue 2, then you have to pay an entrance fee to even get into the street fights. Is there even a shady part of town? Yeah, but it's it's where the where the big bad guy is is all I can really think of. Besides the docks. All right, so we unlocked a new game. At least I think we did, but apparently we didn't because it's this is all the same stuff. Maybe it's at the, the other arcade. Alright. Would there happen to be any street fights going on on the second floor? Yo, ice cream. Can't buy any though, but maybe she knows about street fights. Oh, there's Chobachan. This is it. Aha!
All right, so they just put this ice cream out there. <laughs> so that can be nice and... Uh, nice and melted. Do you have a second? Hello! How about some ice cream? Not right now. Really? Do you not like cold things? How about some hot ice cream then? What? Uh-huh. You're funny, mister. Uh-huh. Get me out of here. Holy. Oh, man. Excuse me. Hi. Are you here to exchange for prizes? She knows about street You can fights. trade in your tokens here. Do you know where martial artists go to practice? Ah, uh, yes. Martial artists. I wouldn't know about that. Uh oh. I'm She's not hiding. An expert. She's hiding something. Okay. Thanks anyway. The, <laughs> the way she said that makes me think that she she's probably the secret final boss of of. Oh, she T posing there. Uh. Okay. Fighter 2. Battle to win. Sure. <laughs> I thought that was a wallpaper, not the door. Okay. Maybe the maids. So this this maid has been very helpful so far in letting me find stuff. So maybe she knows. Do you have a minute? Uh, what? Is there a place martial artists like to gather? You'll see Muren Cafe written on the bridge up ahead. Do you know of any others? Like Liu Ha Hall? I've already been there. I see. Don't know any others. Good to know. Thanks. What about street fights? Do you, is there a place? Try out. Thanks. Okay. How about Burger Shop? It's incredible. So, just one burger sitting out. Just nice cold burgers and cola. Though this is this is generally what I eat anyways. <laughs> like once or twice a week. Just, just burger. With my sous vide machine. Excuse me. Welcome. Sit wherever you like. Do you know where martial artists here like to gather? Muren Cafe might be the kind of place you're looking for. Know any other places? Hmm. I heard there's a place where they have street fights. Excuse me? Do I look like I know anything about that? Yeah. Got it. Thanks a lot. <laughs> no, I'm not looking for hints. Thank you for restraining yourself and not just saying it. I'll explicitly I'll explicitly ask if I'm looking for a hint. But I I still wanna look. See if I can find uh find out. Alright, so there was there was up here, there was dudes up to no good here. Maybe she knows. Excuse me. Come on up. The prize exchange is right here. Where do the martial artists here like to gather? Wouldn't the Muren Cafe suit your Man, needs? Man, they really want me to go to the Muren Cafe. <laughs> but I guess it is nearby. Um. Excuse me. Make your way up to the second floor and get yourself some prizes. Yeah, once we find the cats, we'll find the fights. Where do the martial artists here like to gather? Couldn't you just go to the Muren Cafe? Know of any other places? Like one with street fights, perhaps? Street fights? Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> huh? Huh? 
I've heard they have them in a back alley off the promenade. Ah, there we go. The promenade. The promenade. Back okay. alley. Thanks. Okay. See? So that's why I wanted to investigate on my own. Because now we got a solid in-game clue on where to look. But the promenade is kind of that, uh, that area with all the stalls. Back over this way. So there's a back alley somewhere back here. Is it interacting with this do anything? Nope. I don't think this is a promenade. I think it's actually further in. Um, and we've been here. Yep, been there. Whoop. Yep. It, eventually, you will talk to every NPC in the game, and one of them will will point us in the right direction. Finally, the boarded up thing. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Though I think that was this. I think this was right there previously. But there might be something like that similar uh, somewhere else. Uh, Alright. So it's not that, because it's all boarded off. And it's closed. So there's this area. Like, this looks like a great place to have some street fights, but nothing doing. Uh, no. Hmm. There's. What is this? Oh man, another turtle race. We could win this sweet snapping turtle statue. All right, well, we, we might do that later on when we need to uh, raise some funds. That's fishing. Uh, there's Swagwalker. Oh, spooky ghost. Yeah. But clearly, it's not over here, unless it's like you have to go through a store to get there. Hmm. There probably are Chobichons, like, everywhere, but uh, I'm not going out of my way to, uh, to find them. Uh, how am I doing on... Oh, I do need more watermelons. <laughs> so, let's stock up on watermelons. Excuse me. Hello. Want some fresh, cheap, pre-cut fruit? No, I want whole watermelons. Wait, so press three. Yeah, we actually want kiwis. Kiwis are way more... So these are three, and these are two, but they heal for the same. All right, we're stocking up on kiwis. All right, because we're, we're absolutely going to need to heal if we're getting in street fights. Thanks again. All right. Excuse me. Well, you know where street fights are. I've got cheap, ready-to-eat sliced fruit for you. Do you know where martial artists like to meet up? Martial artists, you say? I haven't heard of any place like that. Sorry. That's okay. She's too busy hanging out at her stand all day. Uh, bargain Buddha got nothing. I guess I can look at the mini map. So the I don't really see any place on the mini map that looks like uh, it would be anything. So what about back here? 
Uh, maybe back there? No. Hmm. All right. Get some amazing TVs. Let's ask this guy. Maybe he Pardon knows. me. Oh, it's you again. Thank you very much for helping. I can give you a free reading if you like. Another free reading. Excuse me. Ah, I see that you seek guidance. Allow me to divine the path to your destiny. Rest assured, I won't charge you a fee. Sure. Yes, please. Do you know where all the martial artists meet? Hmm. Leave it to me. Let's see what I can see in my mind's eye. A rose. I see a rose. There's a large group of people. And one very large man. Oh no! Sorry? This is distressing. I see the large man coming after you. That's all I see. Uh-huh. I see that trouble awaits you at your next destination. Please do be careful. Okay. Thanks. Okay, so we're looking for a rose, huh? There's the drunk tank here. Okay, so there's this. Hmm. I can't believe the Hmm. Well, this is the back alley of... This is the promenade. Hmm. Excuse me. Oh, it's, uh... Who are you, again? Sorry, my memory's not what it used to be. It's a real problem. Do you know where martial artists go to practice? Practice, you say? Why, I think that'd be the Rose Garden. Rose Garden, okay. It's some sort of arena where they have their, uh, street fights, they call them. An arena, huh? Are there martial artists there? I hear they show up from time to time. Go down the alley a little ways down. Interesting. A little ways down. Okay. What? Which? Okay. Thanks. Okay. All right. We have concrete info now. And a little ways down. Does he mean literally down, like down here? Uh. So it's the rose garden. And I don't recall seeing anything, uh, like that. Hmm. And it's the, it's the promenade. So they're, so yeah, this is just their stock boarded up alley thing. Uh, hmm. It's really late. I think I'll head back to the hotel. Sure. Okay, so now we know where, what place we're looking for, but I... An alley in the promenade, huh? Hey, Shenhua? Yes? Have you found any places where martial artists meet up? No, not yet. Let me know if you hear anything. Of course. 
be off. I'm going to go back. All right. Good talk, Zenfa. We gotta pay for our room. I'm gonna make sure to get our free apples this time. I wonder if I can take Shenfa's free apples. Nope, can't go in there. <sighs> okay. Hmm. Looks good. Guess I'll take it. you appear for the room it's uh like 60 60 panda bucks i think hey they're they're free apples it ain't stealing if they're free <sighs> all right back alley of the promenade Arrived in Nyawu. Okay. Maps. Yeah, so the promenade. Oh okay, so Rose Garden is on the on the map. So there's a map, and there's Rose Garden. Right uh right there. So we just gotta find the way over there. Uh Hmm. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, the apple fee. I'm sure there's also like a breakfast that you eat, maybe, because you get your um your health back every morning. Hey, you. Yes. You need to pay. Don't tell. No, I do. Okay, let's see. It. So it's five oh six to four seventy eight. Uh, thank you. So math is hard. Hi, Leon. Hey. It's probably okay. about 30, though. And an apple is... is one, and they give you four? Okay. So it's an alley off of the promenade. So it's not any of these. You mean the uh, the free stay in or the the come over guest house where you just tell the guy I don't have any money <laughs> and then just never pay him because that was that was a nice touch that you can do doing that. It'd be nice if they gave you the option in this game to do that, but but they only raised six million dollars or however much it was. If only they raised a hundred million dollars, then we could have features like that. Okay, so this is... Oh. Alright. So we're... We're currently right here. Um, and this is the promenade, so it looks like going east from here. So turning right. And the Rose Garden is like over there. So I'm looking at the mini-map and looking for any uh, any suspicious alleys. But I'm pretty sure I, I came by this area already. And it's not like this because that's all roped off. Mm. 
this like is this a door we can open? <laughs> so I see something on the mini map on the other side of this building. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, look leaning out the window. I could have sworn there were cats outside the window in the come over guest house too. God, I could have sworn like it was something. Looks to... like I can't get through here. All right. Even though we can't get to the other side, <laughs> for whatever reason, they roped off that part. And it's it's not this. Looks like I can't get through here. Hmm. So it's... All right, maybe Fisher guy knows. Excuse me. Hello and welcome. The Rose Guard. I've got fishing tackle yeah, yeah. for fishing both beginners tackle. and veterans alike. Do you know where martial artists meet? Martial artists? <laughs> martial artists? I've never heard of such a place. Now, if you want to know where the fishermen hang out, that I can tell you. Uh, I see. Okay. Uh, like back here, maybe? No. Like they said before, it's it's off an alley, off the promenade. But uh... hmm. Might as well get this because we're gonna probably gonna need money. Fairly soon in game. Hmm. And that's got to be the alley that they're referencing. Unless you gotta take like the long way around. So there's no signpost for Rose Garden or anything. But it is on the map. I'm assuming it doesn't show like a, a here's where you are thing. So we're we're currently right here ish? So we can, we can make a big loop around where the, the rose garden is, but can't uh, go straight there. Maybe this guy knows. Excuse me. What is it? No fishing today. There's something I want to ask. Do you know where the martial artists here like to gather? I dabbled in it when I was younger. Used to practice at Liu Ha Hall. I see. Hmm. So maybe it's like up. Can I go over here? No. Can't go up that way. Enough kung fu. Not quite. We are trying to go to a place where there's street fights. And we're trying to get to the secret street fighting area, which is the Rose Garden right here. And apparently the access to it is through an alley from the promenade right here. So it's it's somewhere in this area, I'm guessing, is where this, the weird hidden entrance is to the Rose Garden, but... I've yet to find it. I've yet to find it. It's it's either really well hidden or I am just actually blind. Um I am I am blind. <laughs> uh 
Okay. It, I, I actually remember seeing this before and thought it was like a bar or something. Okay. Yeah. Yep. 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 No running. <laughs> All right, let's have some watermelons. Oh, this guy was in the the photos. Excuse me. Hey, kid. Think you've got what it takes? Actually, I need help with something. It's best to let your fists do the talking. That's what I always say. Now step right up. I'm looking for a martial arts expert. A martial arts expert? What are you planning to do when you find them? Well, I recently saw someone use a strange style of martial arts. A strange style? Yes. The techniques were based on how animals move. I'm curious to know what that style is called. I see. Do you know anyone who could help me? I might. Really? Please tell me. If you really want to know, then get on up here. What? What? If you win, I'll tell you. You want to know, don't you? Sure. Okay. I'll do it. All right. It's yours for 800 tokens. Tokens. You said 800 tokens, right? The entry fee, kid. The entry 800 tokens. Now's not a good time. Suit yourself. Come back when you're ready, kid. <laughs> Okay, so we need tokens now. <sighs> so just like I suspected. Just like the first game. Alright, so at least we can gamble here. Okay, 1500, rolling on top. And yeah, we might as well cheese the roll it on top to get our tokens. At least we don't have to do the extra step of having to, to turn it into money. Nice. Welcome and thank you. This is Road on Top. First, do try it. Now then, let us begin. My role, indeed. All right, winnable. Total love. Four. You seem to have the upper hand, good sir. Winnable. Are you shitting me? Total love. Five. Felicitations. Oh, wait, I did win? Not bad. He rolled sir. four, I guess? Want to try again? Maybe some other time. Would it be in your wishes to have some fun? Sure. I'm probably going to need more than that, so let's... Uh... Let's get more. Dice. Welcome and thank for now. My role, indeed. All right, winnable. Total love six. At this rate, we'll both win, good sir. Hey. All right. Love. I'll take it. Nine. Felicitations. Not bad, good sir. Want to try again? Okay. Maybe some other time. Would it be in your wishes to have some fun? Just in case this goes horribly wrong. A 
Excuse me. Oh, it's you again. Hey, um... Look, if you want to talk, get your ass in the ring. You win, I talk. Got it? Fine. All right. It's yours for 800 tokens. Here. All righty. Let's get started. And now for today's special bout. I don't know who he is, but give this drifter some applause. Uh huh? Uh huh? And his fearsome opponent? Feast your eyes on the ultimate weapon. Forged through <laughs> endless practice at the port. Riff Tambourine. The Mad Eagle. Riff Tamblin. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. You're too bad. It's working, Sayon. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Here I go. Okay, so they're they're technically blocking. Okay, so that works. Not bad, kid. Here's your reward. Thank you. Um. Huh? You want something? Please tell me about the martial arts expert. Martial arts expert? Yes. You said you knew something. Oh, that. Please tell me. Why don't you ask at the martial arts shop over there? Why? Did you think I would know about what martial arts styles look like? Right. I'm sure you can find out at the martial arts shop. That's what I know. I see. Thank you. At least he didn't say the cafe. Could have been worse. This the... Okay, that's probably not the martial arts shop. This is token shop. Uh... What martial arts shop? At a martial arts shop? Uh, I, uh, I. Uh. Excuse me. Want some dim sum to go with the fight? We've got ice cold drinks too. Where is the martial arts shop? Let me think. There's one right as you come out onto the road. Okay. Oh boy. All right, no running. PlayStation 4's got loading to do. Yep, there's a shop over there. Yep. That's that's pretty par for the course for uh for Shenmue. Shenmue three so far. In Shenmue two, you could you could ask anybody on the street and they will not only tell you where it is, they will walk you to it. Not so in this one. Uh okay, here's a martial arts story. Excuse me. 
Ah, welcome to my shop. I'd like to ask something about martial arts. I love martial arts. Ask me anything. I saw a form with a strange stance. I was wondering if you could tell me its style. Interesting. Tell me more about it. The movements were really wide, and he could strike even from a distance. And the stance? The guy kept his head low and his arms raised behind him. Hmm. Do you know what this style is called? I need more to go on. Anything else you can tell me? There were animal movements mixed in. Animal movements? There are so many. It could be the white crane, snake style, tiger fist. He used multiple animal movements. What kind of animals? If I were to guess... Those moves... Probably a snake. He looked like a snake. Snake, you said? There is a unique form called snake style. Any other animals? Those moves. Uh... The monkey? He looked like a monkey. A monkey? The Xing Yi Liu He Chen teaches a so-called monkey form. Any other animals? Those moves. That, that might be a bird, maybe? Elephant? Uh, maybe that's the, the trunk of the elephant? I... He looked like an elephant. Elephant, eh? That's news to me. Maybe go to India if it's elephants you're after? <laughs> Any other animals? I, uh... Those moves. <laughs> uh... Sure, that, that's a bear. Sure. He looked like a bear. Huh. First I've heard of that in the Xing Yi trend. Any idea what it might be? Not a clue. Sorry, bud. Oh my god. Okay. Thanks. I'll try asking elsewhere. Wait. Excuse me. Hello and welcome. Oh. I've got some new skill books in. Yeah, pandas are bears. It, it, <sighs> oh yeah? Come again then. Oh yeah? Check out another shop. Alright, what was the other note in there? Sure. Hmm. Is this a... Oh boy. Well, this, at least this is slightly different from the Bailu Village section. I'll give it that. Yeah, that's a mask shop. This is the drunk tank. Uh, electronics. Peace upon. Tortoise shell. It's the fortune teller. Stone Buddha. So I recall there's a martial arts shop. Um, I think there's one here, right? Eh, healthy drug. Nope. That's Bargain Buddha. So it has to be a proper shop and not a stand. And I think there... Yeah, there's one here. Kung Fu Tussle. Pardon me. Huh? 
Sorry, I thought you were a fellow martial artist. Might I ask what your Dang. name is? What a burn. You can call me Hazuki. All right then, Mr. Hazuki. Sorry for not introducing myself sooner. Call me Shan, owner of Kung Fu Tussle. <laughs> Kung Fu Mr. Tussle. Mr. Shang it is then. Pleased to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Okay. Excuse me. What can I do for you? I'd like to ask something about martial arts. Well, this is a martial arts supply store. I can probably answer your question. I saw a form with a strange stance. I was wondering if you could tell me its style. Right. Can you tell me more about it? The movements were really wide, and he could strike even from a distance. And the stance? The guy kept his head low and his arms raised behind him. Fascinating. Do you know what the style is called? That's really not <laughs> enough for me to guess. Could you describe it more? There were animal movements mixed in. Animal movements? Well, that helps. It could be the white crane, snake style, tiger fist. He used multiple animal movements. What kind of animals? If I were to guess... Those moves... All right, so that one's that one's clearly snake. So maybe I just got to pick the pick them all right. Snake. This time. I've heard there's a martial arts style that took its inspiration from a snake. What other animal forms were there? Those moves. All right, so that one. That one is monkey. He looked like a monkey. There's a form in Xing Yi Chuan called yeah. monkey form that mimics monkeys. What other animal forms were there? Those moves. And then this one is not elephant. This one is dragon, apparently. He looked like a dragon. There's a form in Xing Yi Chuan called the dragon form. What other animal forms were there? Those moves. And then... So it's not bear, it's panda. You have to specifically be panda. Is that... a panda? A panda? Sounds popular. What do you mean, popular? I mean, think about it. Can you imagine anything cuter than a fluffy little kung fu panda? Ah... Any idea what it might be? I don't know. Sorry. I see. Oh, I God. A martial arts shop, but I'm still a grasshopper when it comes to knowledge. I'll ask around then. All right. So you know any other shops? Excuse me. Is this about martial arts? I do need to ask about most of my converse. Got it. Maybe I should try visiting another. Okay. So, I don't think there's one over here. This is Buddha Heaven. So, let's see. It'd probably be faster to go this way rather than the other way. shop sushi heaven it's the gambling place other gambling place fortune teller fine furnishings sure furniture princess uh dry goods hey, this is a kung fu shop all right moon yard Oh, it's Man Bun Guy. Excuse me. Welcome to my shop. I'd like to ask something about martial arts. 
Sure thing. We're a wooden dummy store, so I know a thing or two about martial arts. He was on the boat with us. I saw a form with a strange stance, and I was wondering if he could tell me its style. Possibly. Can you describe what it looked like? The movements were really wide, and he could strike even from a distance. I see. And the stance? The guy kept his head low and his arms raised behind him. Hmm. Do you know what this style is called? That really isn't enough for me to surmise. Could you describe it more? There were animal movements mixed in. Well, maybe... Animal movements? Maybe it isn't snake so style. It could be white crane, snake style, tiger fist. He used multiple animal movements. Hmm. Resembling which animals? If I were to guess... Maybe I should try answering Mantis. See that, if that movement does anything. Hmm. It reminded me of a mantis. Mantis, huh? There are a lot of different styles, some of which appear to be mixes of other animals. What other animal styles can okay, you remember? So it's not mantis. That movement. Uh. Okay, maybe this one isn't monkey. Maybe it's leopard. It reminded me of a leopard. Leopard. I've heard of it, but I don't know what martial arts style that is. Okay. What other animal styles can you remember? That movement. So we'll try dragon again for this one. It reminded me of a dragon. A dragon? I think there is a dragon fist. What other animal styles can you remember? That movement. Man, this is this has got to be bear because panda. That it doesn't seem right. It reminded me of a bear. A bear, huh? There should be a form based on the bear. I can't remember the style, though. So, do you have any idea what style it was that I saw? Hmm. No idea. I'm sorry I couldn't be of more assistance. Okay. Thanks anyway. I'll ask someone else. Okay. Huh. Alright, smart and lucky. There's a diner, I think. Yep. Uh, okay, so we've been all been there. Why well, I, I don't uh, I don't actually find it infuriating. It's just kind of part of the the adventure game process, you know. This is kind of like typing in all the uh, all the verbs in King's Quest, trying to get past that snake. This is, <laughs> to me, this is very similar. Palm uh, Paradise. Let's see. There is a martial arts hall down here, down below there. Yeah, this part feels more more Shenmue than some of the dumb stuff we were doing earlier. Over by Duck Paradise, Duck Heaven. Uh, yeah, that's the dim sum, and that's the. The duck restaurant. The Heaven's Fist. This guy. He's back here now. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. 
Ah, can uh, I help you find something? I'd like to ask you something about martial arts. Martial arts? You are in a martial arts store. I can probably answer your question. I saw a form with a strange stance. I was wondering if you could tell me its style. Can you describe what it looked like? The movements were really wide, and he could strike even from a distance. Yeah, the uh, stance. Almost all of the blocked off paths have opened. He kept his head low and his arms raised behind him. Hmm. Do you know what this style is called? Who knows? I can't tell with just that information. What else can you tell me about it? Yeah, this has got to be the place. There were animal movements mixed in. Animal movements? There are so many. It could be the white crane, snake style, tiger fist. He used multiple animal movements. What kind of animals? Those moves. Those moves. Okay. So this is very likely Snake. He looked like a snake. The snake style exists in the northern schools. There are those who say it has evolved into a form unto itself. What other animal styles did he use? Those moves. So monkey style. You look like a monkey. There is a style called monkey fist. There was once something resembling monkey fist in the Xingyi Lu Ha Shen school called monkey form. What other animal styles did he use? Those moves. Those moves. So likely dragon? He looked like a dragon. There is a singular dragon style I know of. Xing Yi Shen had a dragon form. What other animal styles? And then this last one. Those moves. It's, it's gotta be bear, right? He looked like a bear. Xing Yi Chen had a bear form. Okay. As did Xing Yi Lu Ha Chen. So this guy knows the stuff, unlike all the others. A brave aura that utilizes multiple animal forms. His style is most likely Xing Yi Lu Ha Chen. Xing Yi Liu Ha Chen. They say the Shaolin monks hold the original teachings and developed the style from it. The specific forms they use are derived from the ten great spirit animals. Ten? What you probably witnessed were a few of those forms. Can you tell me more about the style? Yes, it has also been called one of the strongest styles of practical kung fu. How do I beat it? Its ability to strike from a distance is unparalleled, but dodge that and you'll find an opening. If I were to recommend a style designed to take advantage of those openings and strike at close range, it's Baji Tren. You uh -huh. can use a Baji Tren signature move. We or... already know those. Wait, what signature move? The get wrecked move Reverse is from that. Reverse body check? Yep, we know that one. Reverse body check? I. Uh... <laughs> uh, uh. 
<laughs> you learn this technique, you'll have a fighting chance. It... <sighs> Will you make the purchase? The purchase. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yu Suzuki, you're killing me. Another time. That is most unfortunate. Yu Suzuki, Come you're killing me here. If you have a change of heart. Oh, good god. lord. Thanks for your time. Okay, so clearly we gotta. We gotta do that, uh, the lucky hit, the big winner lucky hit up at the, the golden, golden goose. Cause then we'll be able to very quickly raise a lot of money. But. I think that will have to be for next time. As, uh, my wrists are starting to, uh, to get real sore here. They actually were, like, 45 minutes ago, but, uh, I've been trying to find, uh, a natural spot here to call it and I think this is uh, gonna be as good as any so for the next time the next segment that we do for this we'll uh, be grinding money again except even more money this time <laughs> great thanks you Suzuki all right start the timer there and we'll pick up from here the next time we play Shenmue 3. All right. So that should do it for tonight. I appreciate y'all watching. And I hope y'all have a great day, night, morning, or evening, wherever you are. Um, if we happen to beat Shenmue 3 and the next time I play this within like two or three hours or so of starting it, I probably will also start, uh, or right after that, start King's Quest 3. Who knows? Um, I'll announce on Twitter if that does happen, though. Twitter and Discord, so keep an eye out for there if you're interested in watching the um, the first part of, uh, of King's Quest 3, because I'll likely be the next uh, casual playthrough game. Okay. What is the next stream? I have no idea. I have no idea, and also don't ask me on the Discord when it is, because just just don't. Don't do it. Don't do it. Alright. So I hope y'all take care. And I'll see you next time.